Alright, well, uh, the mouse is still broken. Um, a lot of my other settings seem really messed up. You guys have to let me know uh, when you can how things sound. Because, uh, well, the app that I installed, it completely took over everything. It changed all of my settings for my Yeti mic, uh, for my keyboard, for my mouse, for my camera. It, it like basically destroyed every single setting that I had ever cultivated on any of my peripherals. And like my mic sounds really messed up. Like so I just need a little bit of feedback when you guys can. Like yeah, it just looks wrong. Yeah, it looks messed up. It looks like it's almost running on like the wrong setting, but my mic sounds a little janky. Yeah. I don't know what what it did. And I don't know how to fix any of it. And I th I thought I had fixed it. How's that? Is that a little bit better? Or no? It's a, now it just seems quieter. Yeah, it's like... Completely effed. It's completely effed. It like... It, I knew installing that was going to be a bad idea. And uh... And yeah, it just like... It obliterated everything that I had. And it didn't fix my mouse problem. What if I roll that back just a little bit... Like that... That looks a little bit more natural. And it, it looks a little bit better. It's almost like there's too much gain. Is the gain going down now? I'm like, I'm trying to manually adjust the gain. Like, to get the setting on the microphone back. But like, no matter what I do, it doesn't seem to bring the gain down. The gain still seems really high. Does the gain still sound high? Like that's about as that's about as low as I can make the game. For some reason now, and I've I've uninstalled the software and I've done a restart. So like the software's gone. It sounds better now. It looks so messed up to me when I'm watching it on the soundbar and the audio mixer. Like in the audio mixer, it looks I'm peeking into the red, and I can't even hear myself right now. It's so quiet on my end, like I can't hear myself through the mic, which is like another set of problems. But it looks like on my end that I'm like peeking into the red constantly, like which I shouldn't be doing. Especially seeing as how it's not even up enough for me to be able to hear myself. It's so messed up. And then if I if I come into this setting, if I change this, that's the game volume for me. Uh, I could turn that way down and no, I still can't hear myself. Ugh, it's so... Such a, a start to the day that I didn't want to have. I should have I should have accepted my loss with the microphone with the with the mouse and just like I should have just accepted that the mouse was not going to be useful right now and just moved on with my life. The game sounds a bit low. Yeah. The game is a little bit low. I that's changing that is now impossible too. I used to have like really good control over uh over the in-game sounds and now I don't have control over that like I should through OBS like it completely completely blew out all my settings. And like, the software w was so bad, like I couldn't even figure out how to use it to help fix anything. Yeah, I don't know. I don't- I don't know. I- I wanna- I wanna stream and hang out with you guys, but like, I don't know if I can do it with these- with these sound settings. I might- I might have to take everything back to the drawing board and uh... Try to figure something out. Cause it- it still- it still doesn't look like it can- it can possibly sound right to me. Like not looking at the uh, not looking at the audio mixer, it looks completely jacked. Maybe if I if I turn this down just a little bit, how is that? Am I am I too quiet now? Well, to me, it can't be good and loud. To me, if it's loud, that's bad. That's my point. <laughs> it's like I don't want it to be loud. I don't want that to be like a a description of my audio. Robert Ramble's audio is loud. Like I don't like that. I want the audio to be good. <laughs> That's like one of my core motivating like sta like standards for my channel is like I want the audio to be good. I want the game sounds to be in the forefront but not overpowering. I, I want for my voice to be able to be heard but not be overpowering and looking at the sound settings that I currently have there's no way that's happening. There's no way that the sound settings are good 
from based on what I'm looking at in the audio mixer compared to what I normally see when I know the settings are good. That's why I'm concerned. I'm worried that you guys will just tell me that it's okay in the hopes that I'll be able to play today, which I appreciate, but like if it's not okay, then I need to fix it. And it looks unnatural. I can't, if, unless you spend a lot of time like watching audio like settings, like, I can't explain how, what I mean, but like there's a natural way that the fluctuations look and they don't look that way right now. They look like crap. Sounds good, voice is a bit loud. Right, and I can't seem to control that anymore like I used to be able to. Uh, like I'm bringing, I'm bringing myself down in the software a little bit. Like now I, I don't see me peeking into the red anymore. Like I'm not, I'm not going into red. But I also feel like I'm like shouting because I, I can't hear myself in the headphones anymore. So now because of those settings being messed up, now I feel like I'm shouting. So that I can hear myself a little bit. And now like... I'm just gonna obsess about it. It's really bad when you're it's really bad when you're trying to talk at like a normal volume, but you can't hear your own voice at room volume because of the headphones. So now now I have one now I have one headphone off so I can at least hear myself and like so that I can understand like what volume that I'm actually talking at. Oh I'm sorry guys. This is not how I wanted the day to go. Like at all, obviously. Oh, that's a little better. I can hear myself a little bit more now. Uh, let's see if I play with that setting a little bit more. Okay, okay, that's... That's not awful. That's not awful. If I turn this down a little bit more... There we go, that's, that's barely got any gain at all. And then I could bring, I could probably bring this up a little bit over at OBS. And like maybe now, maybe now we're back to somewhat sounding kind of natural. How, how is it now? Something is off with the microphone audio output. It looks like it's like mono channel locked now, as opposed to being able to fluctuate. That made me quieter. I sound fine. I sound fine, but do I sound how I normally sound? Because it looks like it's almost like my my microphone audio channel is no longer like a like a variable graph. It's like a locked in like mono looking. I don't know. I don't know anything about like actual audio stuff, so I don't have the actual language to discuss it. I'm just like. I know what I know by looking at it. Sounds the same to you. Okay, we'll play the game, guys. I'm going to I'm going to listen to this vod later. And I am going to I'm going to call you guys out if I so if it sounds like horrible ass garbage. If it ends up sound that it actually sounds like horrible ass garbage, I'm going to call you guys out. So you you should just tell me so I can fix it if it's if it's still janky. Cuz I will call you out. Cause I, I trust me, I, I wanna I wanna be here. I'm gonna do everything I can to stream, but like I'm already playing with a busted mouse. Like I'm I'm gonna be here, but I really don't want the audio to be bad. Don't over I, I didn't overcomplicate what overcomplicated things was me installing a software that I thought might help me fix my mouse. When I knew that I couldn't fix it myself. When I knew I needed to have help with it. Cause like the the normal things that I already knew how to do with it did not work. So like I shouldn't have done anything. Instead, I installed a software that took over all of my peripherals and reset all of their settings to like base default settings, which was bad. And I, and I still didn't fix the mouse issue. The mouse issue is still a thing. Oh my God, I can't look at that audio wave. I'm also gonna be asking people that I trust to come in about the audio as they come in, because some I think someone coming from like if coming from the outside will will probably be like the person who will notice if this new audio setting is is whack. It'll be someone who just pops into the stream and they're gonna be like, "Whoa, hey, what's wrong with your mic?" Like it's gonna happen. Yeah, it's gonna happen. I, I can tell by looking at the wave at, at the audio wave like. The the in-game sound looks okay. But my sound looks 
too flat. Way too flat. Is there anybody... One thing I need to check. If, is anybody listening with earbuds or headphones? And if you are listening with earbuds and headphones, is my voice only coming into one ear? Or is my voice coming into both of your ears? Like, I, I, if someone could tell me that, if you're listening on a, uh, like a stereo device, like headphones, earbuds, a sound system. Is, is my voice coming into both of your ears or just like the left one? Both. It sounds like I have a cold. Well, right now I'm annoyed, so I'm, I'm more nasally and annoying. And, and, and I sound like this when I get annoyed. So that's what's going on right now. Whereas when, I, when I'm relaxed a little bit, I sound a little bit different. Right now I'm really stressed out. So when I get stressed out, I sound like this. <laughs> so, you know. I become the stressed out caricature of me. Any other questions? You hear it in both ears. Okay. So so it's not it's not a true mono sound thing happening. There's no mono sound. But it's like it should be like fluctuating do, 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 but it's like bah, it's it's like the same level. It's all the same level. Maybe my wife will be able to help me with it later. Maybe if I can, if I can get through the stream somehow. If no one pops in and says, "Oh man, your audio sounds fuck." Then we should be fine. Oh my god. Okay. What what am I, what am I here for? What am, what am I doing? Let me let me try to. I'll look at the game for a minute if I can if I can look away from the audio for a second. I'm looking for nugget slugs. I don't think I don't think I pick, I'm picking them up off the ground, right? I got six of them. Okay. Okay. I have a, a faint idea now. I can't. Oh my god. None of my buttons work on my mouse. I need to stop standing here because if I if I keep standing here, I'm gonna keep fighting the same orcs. I'm I'm still gonna keep fighting the same orcs. See see now for me the in-game music is too loud. What can I do about that? Let's see. That 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 helps a little bit. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't think I'm the problem is I don't think I'm gonna be able to fix it. The thing, the only thing that I could do to try to fix it, is the thing that destroyed every other setting that I had, and and I still I still even trying to get into even after it broke everything, I tried to use that software to go into the keybinds and try to set the keybinds and I I couldn't do it. I couldn't use the software to set the keybinds. Um. So yeah, that's there's really nothing else that I can do. In the past, when my mouse has changed profiles like this, I press the one of the top buttons on the mouse, and that top button would flip through the different profiles, and I would bring it back to the green profile, which is the one that I have set up properly. Uh, that button on the mouse just today, it just stopped doing that. It stopped flipping through the profiles. Um, and so yeah, so the only things I know how to do, one of them doesn't work anymore. And one of them breaks my entire computer. So like, I, uh, I mean, I could, I could play with it some more and break, but like, then the thing is that then I can't test my settings again. So then I have to take another 20 minutes at the beginning of the next stream with you guys to test my settings and get my audio fixed. So yeah, hmm. it's, 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 it is what it is. 
I'm, I'm gonna try to play. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a half hour and see how I feel, and we'll just kind of take it from there. Never dull. Hmm, interesting. Keep it real. Have a good one. If you ever need anything. Oh, I know. I was muted on purpose. I was talking to my wife. Richard, good afternoon, buddy.
Yep, what do you want? Don't be a stranger. Catch you on the flip side. Keep it real. Assemble the Samoflange manual. What what are we doing exactly? I guess I will have to read the quest. Uh, let's see, back when I was in the Tinker's Union, Boss Copperplug was the best engineer we had. He, detect he defected to the Venture Company shortly before I left. Uh, if he built the Samoflange, then he's probably got the manual. Last I heard, he was operating right here out of a boulder load mine to the northeast. Get the manual from him and collect the pages from his followers. Okay, so it's not, it's not doing any kind of quest tracking for that, I realize. Uh, I'm kind of assuming I can't use the map, but I'm you know I'm kind of assuming he's at the uh, at the little tower thing. But honestly, I don't know. I'm gonna assume he's up here somewhere. Uh, you know, without quest tracking or even a map that works properly, it's it's kind of hard to say. But we'll go check it out, and then like it says, get the pages from his followers. So maybe we just kill people and they drop pages. Oh wait, it says Boulder Load Mine. Okay, so this is not Boulder Load Mine. I, I don't know where Boulder Load Mine is. Um, is Boulder Load Mine the place where we used to get the, the the cat's eye ruby? Is that is this right here? This little cave. Ah uh, ah, uh, I see it. Oh, it's almost there. Okay, there we go. Boulder Load Mine. We found it. We figured it out. Wait, apparently I, I have a quest I didn't pick up. Don't waste my time! Go, go! Miner's Fortune, are you interested in treasure? I knew that would get your attention. From uh, word from the river dock here is that the miners of the venture company Boulder Load Mine discovered an emerald the size of your fist. I know a few buyers who'd be interested. Okay, so like it's the same quest. On your but way. instead of getting it in Ratchet or whatever, we get it up here instead. I, I keep pulling up the map. It's hilarious.
Um, wait, was that the guy? <clears throat> oh, that was him. I thought he'd be at the back of the cave. Apparently he just wanders through, like, the beginning part of the cave so that you don't really have to look around at all. Um, I need... I need more pages. How many pages do I have? I have three, I need five. Well, that was nice of him to come out and meet us. You want to play a goblin warlock? Are you saying that because warlock is one of the classes they can't they can't be, or because you will eventually be able to do that? I, I can't remember if they can be warlocks. It sounds like they should be able to be warlocks. I, I don't see why not. How long did it take for me to get into the beta after I signed up for it? About a week. It was it was maybe almost exactly a week. And I got I got invited on a Thursday. I don't know if that is significant. I don't know if they if they put out invites on a certain day of the week, but it was a it was a Thursday that I got invited. So I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it was Thursday. Now, now actually now that we talk about it, I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe it was a Tuesday. It felt like it was either a Tuesday or a Thursday. But again, like it, I don't know how like random it is. That's that's the weird thing. It's like it's it doesn't seem to be like a first come first serve, unless they are like just inviting everybody. You know, I guess it could have been a first come first serve, and my turn was just up because they invited masses of people before me. If we're assuming a week, then yeah, maybe. I just like I said, I don't know how consistent it is. I'm sure that they're going to get as many people in as possible. I feel like eventually, I feel like everybody that has signed up for the beta should be should be in. It, it seems like we're going to have a pretty long beta phase. Like, I'm pretty sure the roadmap shows the pre-patch slated for like the end of spring. So, you know, spring just started. Uh, did, I, did I get everything I needed? Yeah, I got five pages. I got the Samoflange cover. Let's go ahead and make the actual book. Uh, and now we can go turn this in. Actually, wait, 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 did I? Oh, the, I didn't get the Cat's Eye Emerald. The Cat's Eye Emerald, that's that's a random drop off of anybody, right? Like anybody can drop that. I'm surprised I didn't get it already. I guess we have more killing to do. I got another Samoflange cover. I, apparently we can we can collect as many Samoflage manuals as we want. We can have an entire an entire encyclopedia 
of Samiflam's manuals. I feel like that's probably a bug. You know what I mean? Like, usually, like, a quest item like that, you won't get it twice. Feels like a bug. I'm hoping that it's still a random drop. Yeah, it says the word is that one of the miners. Okay, so yeah, it should be anybody. Oh look, we can we can get the pages too. So yeah, like they they have something like broken about this quest. I feel like you you would want it so that once a player makes the manual, they they stop getting the quest item. I don't know. Maybe it's not like that. Maybe this is functioning as intended. So what I'm noticing though is like these guys are not necessarily miners. This says, you know, he's an overseer. This guy over here, he's an enforcer. Are, are these not counting as Venture Company miners uh, for the sake of them having the chance to drop the item? Are there actual miners like outside that are named Venture Company miners? Maybe I should go check. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like any of them are actually called Venture Company Miners. So I have to assume we could fight any of them. Let, let's hope that's the case. My inventory is full. How long, how long should I grind on these guys before we kind of decide that maybe the quest is broken? Maybe if I talk about how the quest is broken, maybe the item will drop. Although if the item does drop, I, I'm not going to have the inventory space for it anyway. So that that's a problem we have to fix. You know, 
maybe maybe it's in the chest. Silverbound treasure chest. I've never read a description like that for a chest. Silverbound treasure chest. That sounds like an okay place to keep a, a cat's eye emerald. But it's not in here. They they were keeping an opaque wand. This like this this suspicious little box also looks like a cool place to store a cat's eye emerald, but we can't interact with it. This gives me like a rune flashbacks from Sod. It's like yeah, this is a this is a rogue rune hiding back here. If you if I had to put a number on it, how many times do I think I've leveled a character through Elwyn Forest? Uh, six thousand seven hundred and thirty-two and a half times. Probably probably a lot of times. Uh, I don't know if the number of times would be in the hundreds. But like throughout my life, maybe. If you just mean like leveled all the way through, then probably not in the hundreds. If you mean like started up a character, ran around Elwyn Forest, and deleted character later on, then maybe hundreds. But it would be like it, it would be like low hundreds. One of the reasons it would be low hundreds is because, like, back in the day I was a horde player. So, like, I didn't really, like, play a lot of Alliance back in, like, my 20s. I only started playing a lot of Alliance once once Classic came out, and I was playing Classic. Blood Moon, good morning. Welcome to the stream. Some of you guys that are, like, newer to the stream today who missed, like, the technical problems of this morning... If you guys, if you guys sense that anything is off or strange or messed up about the audio, please let me know. We, I had a major peripheral meltdown this morning, where, whereby all of my settings on all of my peripherals got like messed up, reset, and I had, I had to reconfigure my, my audio like from the ground up, like both physically, physically on the microphone and in my settings, and so like, it still doesn't look right to me when I watch the, the wave file or like watch the, uh, the audio levels. So yeah, if anything sounds weird, guys, let me know and let me know like what you're listening on. I'm not I'm not quite in freak out mode about it anymore, but it's still it's still gonna probably bother me for like the rest of the day. There we go, that's the cat's eye emerald. Lael, it seems fine. Lael, did you, did you roll it back to the beginning of this stream? You could probably hear how messed up it was. And then, yeah. And then this, there was a subsequent struggle to, to fix it. it. Sounds fine now. It looks like, it, my audio looks flat on my end. But I, I've been assured that I'm not in like mana sound, so. I guess that's really all I can hope for at this point. All right, we finally got the emerald. We can we can skedaddle and try to try to get back to our quest givers. That, that would be kind of a cool feature. Like, the ability to select your race and your starting zone independently of each other. Like, to, to say, like, I'm gonna make a human, but my human is gonna start in Teldrassil. Because I, I really want to see the, the Teldrassil quest, but I can't stand playing on a Night Elf. It'd be cool to have the option, like, decoupled. Maybe not, like, on a permanent basis, but maybe in, like, a seasonal model. It would be a, a cool option. 
What's up? Have a good one. Glad I could help. We could have like the season of peace where like you can take a horde character through Elwyn Forest and vice versa. Like you can pick your starting race and then you could pick any zone on any faction. And we can call it the season of world peace. That sounds kind of cool. I I'd love to like take a tauren through like Elwyn Forest or take a human through the barrens. Like a human human hunter leveling in the barrens. That'd be a cool vibe. Yeah, like be a human that starts in Mulgor. Yeah, I think that'd be really cool. That's a really cool idea. Uh, let's go ahead and vendor and also probably repair as well. Mainly I'm just going to sell everything, I think. I, I could keep a shield. I don't think I'm going to tank anything. Uh, but I'll hang on to the shield for a minute. Oh, also, also, guys, at some point today, we need to get our mount. Yeah, I, I, com I completely there. forgot. Go, go. In, in all of the morning's there. troubles, I, I completely forgot that I did. Move I did it. need to get the mount at some point today. So we could do Take that anytime. It, well, we've been told it's five gold, so we, we have more than five gold now. Maybe we should do it soon. Let's, uh, let's see if we can before. fly over. Uh, let's go to Thunder Bluff. Oh, let's go right to Bloodhoof Village. I, I'm pretty sure that's where we need to be. Keep your ear to the Money from quest looks slow, Ashley. Yeah, you know, so does XP. I, 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 I don't think they have any of the values where they want them for, for Cataclysm. The XP is, is pretty low. Um, we've been leveling pretty slowly. I, I've chalked up some of it to me not being familiar with these quests the same way that I am with Classic Era Quest. Like, that definitely must attribute for, like, some of the additional time, but... W w they, s they said at BlizzCon, they said faster leveling. So I, I think that by the time... By the time it comes live, the leveling is going to be a lot faster. There's probably going to be more money from quests. Um, this seems like... Some of the XP values seem straight out of vanilla. We're, we're doing quests at, like, level, you know, 22, and it's, sometimes we get, like, 800 XP. And a lot of that just seems like vanilla values to me. Yeah, Blood Moon, it's, it's been a rough, uh... It has been a, a rough morning from a technical standpoint. I came in, I, ha I ha was having a great morning. And then, uh, and then my mouse stopped working and it was like cascading failure from there. In, in typical me nature, like the, I, the way I tried to fix the problem created even more problems for me. And those problems are still like ongoing. My audio is still, I can tell, I'm going to listen to this VOD later and I'm going to cringe because I, I can tell my audio is still not right. So yeah, it's one of those days. I, mi I might be in the market for a new mouse. I don't like the design of most of the Razer ones. Like, I, I they're kind of like physically. I, I feel like they're like a little bit over designed. My mouse is very simple. It has like simple curves. It doesn't have a lot of sharp angles. Like, uh, yeah, I some I feel like some of their stuff is over designed. I'm probably gonna have to go with another Logitech. Like, I'll have to see like what my options are. It, it, like, I don't know. I've been using the same mouse for like eight years. But now I'm worried that if I get the same mouse, I'm going to have the same, like, lack of control. I've lost all control over my key bindings. My, my keys are currently not bound to anything. So I got 12 useless buttons on the side of my mouse now where I used to have, like, 12 really useful buttons. Now they don't do anything. And, uh, I can't, I can't fix it. <laughs> Everything I've done to fix it has failed. Uh, some of what I've done to fix it has broken other peripherals. So, yeah, it might be the end of the road for the old Logitech. And they don't they don't manufacture these anymore, so I'm not even sure if I can uh, 
if I can find one to even try to just like have the same mouse and have it actually work. Yeah, there's, well, yeah, you, you can find them now, but I can find an old one for $140 when I originally bought it for like 40 bucks. There's some Corsairs that look okay. There's nothing that's like the same mouse. Oh, man. That is not good. Oh, okay. Uh, let's, let's see. Mount Riding Trainer. How may I aid you? The one I have is a G600. Yeah, the one I have is a Logitech G600. I guess I, I can get one for like 60 bucks, but it's like, it's a used one. They, they don't make them new anymore, I don't think. Uh, apprentice riding three gold. Okay, okay. And then how much is the mount? What brings you here? Uh, I, let's just take the brown one, I guess. And there we go. Walk with the earth, mother. Um, and then where did it put that? Here we go. Oh, we got the whole, like, we got the whole collection book. Well, that's cool. Now, now I don't have a keybind for my mouse because, like, normally, normally I would be hitting a mouse button for this for my mount, but yeah, that's not gonna work, so now we'll, we'll click our mount. And then there we go, we have a mount. Uh, Hearthstone is set somewhere, uh, Nozzle Pot's Outpost? Sure, let's, let's just go ahead and hearth back. Yeah, like, whatever I get, I, I need at least six buttons. I, I use six buttons on my mouse, like, all the time. Like, constantly. All my, all my F1 buttons, all my F keys were bound to my mouse. And so that's how, like, I use those six buttons, by just, like, hitting the button with my thumb. So, like, not having access to six entire buttons. It's, it's like, it's like cutting off your own foot and then trying to, like, run a marathon, basically. It's like you've trained for the marathon your whole life with both of your feet. And then on the eve of the marathon, you no longer have one of your feet. Now you're now you're hopping along without without one of your feet. It's not a very powerful analogy, but it like it fully expresses like I can only hit six buttons with my keyboard hand, and I relied on my mouse hand to hit the other six. And I've been playing that way for eight years. So I feel like the analogy works. Um, I don't know. So I missed a caravan wreckage somewhere. Uh, find the wrecked caravan near the road between Ratchet and the crossroads. I, I didn't find this at all. So... Uh, man, it, it's, it's hard not knowing where I'm actually at, but... Maybe I can try to find it. Yeah, I, I should have grabbed a couple more when the Amazon prices were like $39. That would have been really smart. Yeah, not, now I'm basically screwed. I could probably, like, there's gotta be a way for me to fix this thing. Like, but I'm like, I'm terrified to install any software now. Like, the weird thing is that that couldn't have been Logitech software. Like, how does Logitech software, like, how does it take over my mic? My, my mic is a, is a Yeti mic. It's not a Logitech mic. But man, it just like, as soon as I fired that software up, it just took over everything. I changed every setting on all of my, my keyboard was different. My, it got into my camera. My, all of a sudden, all of my settings on my microphone just reset to like factory default. 
it was a shit show like right away so fast and so now I'm like I'm terrified to to install anything else to help me like fix this freaking this mouse Logitech owns Blue Yeti that explains it <laughs> there we go yeah like maybe I could unplug maybe I could unplug the Yeti from the PC I could try to like tr just troubleshoot and maybe I'll have to unplug my camera too and then just try to troubleshoot the mouse and then if I can get the mouse working I can uninstall the software but yeah but I feel like as soon as I uninstall the software it's gonna change all the mouse settings right back Mm. Barnabas, I appreciate that. The mic sounds sounds normal. Okay, yeah. So that's fine. Like, yeah, I'm 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 okay with the current like sound settings. I guess I can live with it. But it's like the mouse is still busted. That's like the biggest sticking point. The funny thing is, like, I used to, one of the mouse buttons on top of the mouse used to flip through the profiles. You could like you had several profiles set up. They were color based. So like I've I've changed profiles on accident before and then I just press the button and I rotate through the profiles and I get back to the green profile and then I'm good to go. But today um that button just like that it stopped working. Like there was no longer a button to flip through the profiles. Okay, I am without the map, I am hopelessly lost. Um where where am I? Um over here we have I think this must be far watch post. We we must be on this road down here. That's got to be Far Watch Post, um, which means we need to be on the road between the Barrens and Ratchet. So, like, maybe I just need to kind of head towards towards Crossroads. It's so hard to play the game without the map. I'm playing without a map. I'm playing without a mouse. crazy And without, and without a mount, yeah, yeah. Like, why would I use a mount? We just went through all that way. Like, I pressed the button to, to go to my mount and nothing happens now. So, why even try to use the mount? I can't, I can't, it's not key bound. There we go, we mounted up. Everyone be happy. No, I'll probably forget to mount like a bazillion times. I'm not used to even having a mount in this game. I thought they would fix the map today after maintenance, but apparently it didn't get fixed. That was that was my big hope that like a lot of them I didn't check the the water issue in the Worgen zone yet. I need to uh, I need to check on that character. But yeah, I thought they would have some of the bigger like problems fixed. Who who needs maps? Yeah. Yeah, the maps are still messed up. It's I like you know. I could keep say I can keep saying that it's beta. It's beta. But however, you know, it's a that's a pretty big bug. You'd think that'd be like among the first bugs that you would fix if you were going to fix some bugs. If you were going to have a little maintenance, you'd probably want to get the maps sorted out. And that way, you know, people could test the game and report other bugs. Uh, did I miss the road? I have I have no idea. Uh, 
It, it feels like alpha sometimes. Like part of me is convinced that I missed the, the road already. Like part of me is convinced that I'm simply on the wrong road. I need to, I need to get an arrow for Ratchet. Oh man, where 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 have I gone? I think I, I think I've gone way too far. I I'm I'm pretty sure I'm down here. Yeah, we, we have to be right here. Uh, I need to be like over here, except it's uh, obviously really hard for me to get anywhere when my position on the map is wrong. I have to imagine now that I'm I maybe I'm gonna start moving like this. Whew. It takes, like, I have to pay so much more attention to where I'm trying to go. And even doing that, like, I, I often miss the mark. It reminds me kind of of, uh, of Outward. Like, in Outward, you had a map. And the map had all the locations on it. But the map did not show you. You were not shown on the map in Outward. Uh, and that was, like, that's almost better than having a, a marker that's incorrect. Because at least then I'm not being given any like inaccurate info. But yeah, I have to start using the map like the map in uh, in Outward. Except in Outward, like each zone had a very prominent feature that you could kind of like look at the feature. You can say, okay, I'm facing this feature from this direction, so I am over here. And in the Barrens, like I don't really, I don't really have that. I keep opening the stupid map. This this is the road, I think, maybe. This looks like a caravan, so maybe maybe I've been able to find it, despite everything. It feels like we're playing like Elden Ring now. I mean, this look this looks like a wrecked caravan. We're supposed to- oh, okay, we, we just walk into it and we get another ping. Uh, this horde caravan was not merely robbed, it was savagely brutalized. Crates of supplies have been ripped apart by sharp claws. The wagon has been demolished, the food has been eaten, and the silver is gone. And yet, useful supplies have been left behind. This is raptors, isn't it? Didn't the raptors do this? Animal tracks surround the wreck. Tracks made by enormous curved claws. They appear to be raptor tracks. Your first instinct is that raptor riders assaulted the caravan, but the impressions aren't deep, and there are no non-animal tracks to be seen. The tracks head northeast. Like, we, we've known that the raptors were silver thieves uh, since vanilla. Like, why would we be surprised by this? And they know the raptors are a problem. You, you know that raptors are going to be a problem when they start making, like, like, clothing for themselves. Like, these guys have, like, wristbands. These guys have necklaces. When the raptors start making jewelry... <laughs> And then, like, wrapping themselves and adorning themselves with it? Like, that's when you know you have raptor problems. Like, how did they get these little feathers tied around them? Like, obviously they're making these. That's a huge problem. Uh, and so I, I read that quest out loud, but I didn't absorb any of it. The tracks head northeast. Uh, towards the east side of Thorn Hill. Okay, north, northeast... So, like, yeah, in this general direction. I, I kind of wish that there were actual tracks that we could follow. That would be nice. Yeah, it's, it's like all of a sudden, if, like, if all the squirrels in your neighborhood started wearing sweaters. You know, every squirrel you looked at has its own little knit sweater. You know, that's when you know that you have uh, an animal problem. You should be concerned about animals like equipping themselves with uh, with with gear. Um. Okay. So, like, that's fine. What exactly am I even looking for, though? Am I looking for like loot? Am I looking for like a named raptor? It just says, "See what you find." Okay. I'll just I'll just go see what I find now. Like, yeah, like. It's it's okay. We'll see what we find. We found we found the source of the tracks. Look at that. Uh, before you lies an entire community of raptors, ducking in and out of hovels, snarling at one another, and working together to construct primitive huts. They're building housing. 
Collections of shiny things surround their nest. Mystery solved. No, it, no. It's that mystery is not solved. Like, why are these raptors like this? That's the mystery. It's not mystery. Like, so many more questions have to be asked now. It's not mystery solved. I don't think Blizzard knows what it means to solve a mystery. It's, oh god, oh Jesus. Okay, we're fine. It's okay. Uh, it's clear that these raptors acted alone to steal the horde's silver. It's time to teach these beasts a lesson. Yeah, we're not gonna try to figure out like how they've evolved to this point. That's not a problem. We're just gonna go kill a bunch of them. Uh, so we need eight ravagers, four scythe claws, and we need to find the stolen silver. Now, now I do have quest tracking. So, you know, like, that's great. It's not, it's not in the right area, but I, I'm in the right area. Oh, they don't have thumbs? They have, um... They got, they got some thumbs, like, now. These ones do. Well, they, they have, like, a, an, un, an under pincer. Oh, wait, no, maybe they don't. When, when they were doing this, yeah, yeah, this one right here is kind of like an opposable thumb. They had some kind of under one that could like come up and pinch, you know. All you have to do is be able to pinch your fingers together and then you can hold stuff. I, I think they've got it, yeah. Well, it, it's kind of it's kind of hard to tell. We'll we'll leave we'll leave the the studying of the raptors to the professionals. I'm sure they'll send like a forsaken apothecary out to like check out the corpse. Lael, have I noticed that gnomes only have three fingers? Yeah, it's really disturbing once you notice it. Like literally, once you notice it, it like no, you can never go back. I don't know if I could ever play a gnome because of that. Like, yeah, like, why, why, why do they only have three fingers? I don't, I don't know. It's really weird. And they're like, they're like meaty little sticks. It's like, I don't know. There's something not right about it. We gotta we got get Dr. Grant out here to solve the mystery of the raptors. Yeah, absolutely. Raptors are his specialty, so... He would definitely be able to explain what's going on and why. Yeah, if you, if you like gnomes, like don't don't look at their hands unless you already have. So it's, uh, it's very off-putting. And now now that we've had this conversation, it will be the only thing that you're able to think about. Like as you watch their cast animations, as you look at their weapon swings, you'll just think about the weird number of fingers they have and like why don't they have more fingers? Why don't they just have like proportionally just like a normal amount of fingers for a humanoid, but like proportional to their body size, you know? Why don't they have normal fingers? So like they're not they're like kind of like beasts. They're almost more like trolls than humans. They might have more in common with trolls. You know, I haven't found the stolen silver, but I honestly haven't really been looking too hard for it. I was assuming it would just kind of stand out and if I if I kept killing every single raptor in sight, that we would find it. 
natural evolution and they, they, I mean, what did they evolve from? I don't really know, like, how the gnomes evolved. Weren't they, weren't they constructs like the dwarves were at one point? And then they got hit with the curse of flesh and then through the curse of flesh they became fleshy? I guess, like, I guess that's the story of everything on Azeroth besides the trolls and the night elves. Like, humans, dwarves, gnomes, we were all things that eventually, like, we got afflicted by the curse of flesh. Which is weird, like, when you think about it, was it really a curse of flesh? Because, like, it, it broke us away and gave us free will from, like, from the titans. <clears throat> so was it a, was it a curse of flesh, or was it the gift of flesh, and the gift of, like, not being the titan's slaves? We did not find the silver. We're gonna have to look again. The gnomes remind you of how AI always screws up hands when creating AI-generated images. AI doesn't understand human hands because it has no human hands. Maybe once I get the last kill, it'll more accurately track the location of the silver. I mean, I doubt it, but maybe. I need I need to stop looking at the map. You know, you'd think I would learn after like the hundredth time of opening the map and seeing that it's not really showing me a lot of useful stuff. Like, I, I learned to stop opening it. Yeah, I I have no idea where the where the silver would be. We can get our last kill here. I I, I feel like it's taken me twice as long to do basically like every quest. Because I, I'm I'm used to being familiar with them, and now suddenly I'm not. Yeah, so now now it does mark a location, except like the location is so large that I don't know if it'll help. Let's let's head maybe somewhere in this little hovel. I think this is the only hovel that we haven't thoroughly searched. Is the map bugged? Oh yeah, the map is horribly bugged. Mm -hmm. We're we're like we're we're really down here somewhere. I think like uh, we're we're like we're like right here somewhere. But the map has us up here. Like, both our location and the location of Quest are, are shifted up on the axis incorrectly. And so, like, when we're by a Quest, we're really by the Quest, except we're, we're both, like, really somewhere else on the map. It's- oh, we're down here, maybe. It's- it's- it's busted. Yeah, it's way off, I think, actually. Yeah, that's right. This is the guy- this is the guy on the road, hut, and, like, we are down here. So, yeah. It's- it's pretty brutally busted. It's busted. In, in, Sil in Silver Pine, it was okay, but then in Hillsbrad, it was busted. Uh, in Hillsbrad, it's not off by as much. Like, it's not off by as much, but it's still pretty off. And then I thought today they would fix the map, because, you know, pretty big deal. Pretty big deal. It, it, could, it could stop people from being able to test the game. You know, if people don't even feel like they can level up or play, then there's going to be less people testing the game. So I thought, like, for sure they'll fix the map today. They, they didn't. I, I did do a bug report. It wasn't the most articulate bug report, but it did express, like, the heart of the problem. So maybe they haven't read my bug report yet. I don't know. I'm sure they'll get to it. Was it the same in Mulgore? I don't think so. I, I think the problem is existing right now in the Barrens, for sure, and in, um, in Hillsborough. Because even in Silverpine, in Silverpine, the map, the map seemed okay. I didn't notice a problem. Now, granted, we didn't do any questing, but looking at where I was on the map in Silverpine, it seemed okay. So I don't think it's affecting every zone. I haven't checked on the Worgen Lake, or the Worgen Ocean situation yet. Yeah, maybe my- I, I thought for sure they'd fix that today too, but maybe they haven't fixed that either. 
Maybe my worgen hunter is uh, is doomed to like rot at the bottom of the sea. Red Ridge was also bugged. You think maybe the the bug is only affecting maps that were drastically changed by Deathwing? Yeah, it, it could have something to do with like what maps they're using from which game files. Because I, I think they're using a lot of game files from Dragonflight. And like I don't know how many like original Cataclysm game files they actually have. But yeah, you guys can see like right now like this is Ratchet. So like we show as being up here, but we're actually like somewhere down here. It's also like an it feels like it's almost an, on an angle. Like like almost like a 2 degree angle. And we're somewhere down here. Yeah, like getting 800 XP for a 800 XP for a quest at level 22. That's a vanilla number. It seems like a vanilla number of XP. Well, the the problem is like I don't think they have the existing game. I don't think there's like a there's not like a copy of the existing game build like stored in Carbonite or anything. Like, I don't think they have access to, like, the working files of the of the original Cataclysm release. I think that what they have is, like, whatever was left over, whatever got carried into retail, whatever got carried forward and eventually became time walking. I think that's it. Like, those are the files they have. But they're all retail files. So then they have to overlay, like, classic elements. Like, we have to have the classic interface. They got to put the classic talent trees in. You got you to gotta do all these things. <clears throat> Um, because I don't think they have the original working files. I could, I could I could be wrong, but yeah, right now they seem to be operating in some kind of Dragonflight cl client. Uh, all right, so we we seem to be done here, except like people have told me that there there's like an outpost that I'm missing, like there's an entire area maybe that I have missed, and. Uh, it's really hard to know like where that might be. Somebody mentioned like a caravan ride. Somebody else mentioned like that there was a rocket maybe from uh, from the outpost up here, the nozzle port outpost that will shoot us to another questing area. Like I don't know, but I I think there's supposed to be more to do in the barrens, and I would I would especially think that we would eventually get a breadcrumb taking us somewhere else. Like, I, I wouldn't mind going into Stone Talon or, or going into Ashenvale, but I'm not really sure, like, where to pick up the quest to do that. I'm not even sure what happened to Stone Talon. Okay, am I losing my mind? Oh, no, it's here. I just, I don't even see, like, how would we get into... How would we get into Stone Talon? That seems to lead into Desolus. Do we have to maybe come from from Ashenvale to get into Stone Talon now, or am I just like am I losing my mind? I mean, either way, I'm probably also losing my mind. But I just I just don't see how one would get into Stone Talon unless maybe this road takes us. It looks like this connects us to Desolus. It doesn't seem to go into Stone Talon. So yeah, like, I don't know. Where, where am I headed right now? I guess maybe I need to head back to Crossroads and like check out this... I gotta close the map. Oh man. You 
I, I wonder if the map issue is affecting everybody. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I never talk in general chat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw something into general chat and see what bounces back. Let's see if anybody has any, like, actual feedback. I asked if, if everyone's map is broken, or if it's certain people, or if we if we know. Somebody said, yup. I, I asked two different questions, somebody said, yup. <laughs> is everyone's map broken, or is it certain people? Yup. Oh, okay. That's about what I expected. I got a yup, though. I got a reply. Somebody replied to me, so... I, I'm gonna assume that he only read the first part, and so he's trying to indicate that everybody has a map problem in the Barrens. It's small. Somebody else. Somebody else said it's a small indie company. Something to keep in mind. Yeah. It, it seems like maybe everybody's having a map problem. In, in the Barrens, at least. I keep opening the map for for no reason. Okay, so somebody mentioned like a caravan. Somebody mentioned another another like questing hub. Somewhere maybe to the north of the Barrens. Like, maybe, maybe in this area. I feel like we did stuff over here already, though. Maybe I should just try to go to Ashenvale and see what happens. That could be something we do. Yeah, like, I, I know where the old entrance used to be, like... It, you used to just follow the road out of the crossroads, and then you would, uh, you would eventually get to the, to Stone Talon. So, like, I can head- I wanna head that way, we can see, like, what's over here, and see if we can- I don't- I don't see a way that a person would cross this divide. Do I have a pref a preferred spec when I'm playing the retail paladin? Uh, I tried I tried pra and that was fun and now we're retribution. So um, ret ret kills things faster and so that's always fun. Uh, pra was fun because I was tankier. I could pull like a bunch more stuff and like never die. Uh, on ret, I feel like if I over pull, then I will I will certainly meet my doom. So I, I like them both, but they're obviously very different. I, I might stay ret only because I, I don't know if I'll ever be able to tank in, in retail. I don't know if it's worth it to like really start to love a tank spec when I'm not sure if I'll ever be able to tank any content in retail. I don't I don't think I have the skill or the like the speed for it. People like to go fast uh, in retail, and like I don't I don't pull as fast as people like so. Uh, this is pointing the way to a place called Honor's Stand. I'm not- I'm not familiar with Honor's Stand. I'm also seeing buildings, like, up in the- up on the plateaus. And, and I'm kind of wondering, like, what- what's up with those buildings? What's going on over that way? My road here ends, but I see a road over here. Like, there- there is a road. Oh, wait, are we- Oh, this is, like, going into the Southern Barrens, almost. I, again, guys, I've been running around without the mount. You guys have let me this time. You haven't said anything about it. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see how one would cross this without like a glider or like without melting in lava. But I guess that's the the Southern Barrens. The Alliance area is called Honor Stand. Okay. Yeah. So we we could like we could like run up the coast here and see. 
we can go through the fold. I doubt I'll live. It, it looks like maybe over this way there's a way to cross. I, I see that it, it kind of seems to end. So maybe we'll check that out and see where that goes. Yeah, th this might have been like... This might have been near where we can get into stone. Oh, there's like, oh, there's a quest here. Look at this. Okay, so we, we got something going on over here. Darsox Outpost. All right, well, we found a quest. And honor. Harpy Strength Raiders. Uh, since you're here, perhaps you can help me with a small problem. The blasted harpies have been ravaging our, our caravan supplies for too long. It's time we slit a few of their throats. This is the guy from uh, Barons. That he, he they moved him. He was from Crossroads, and they moved him out here. Strength. Yeah, this is the Far same the, the same quest we did in Vanilla. But it's just they they moved the quest giver. They gave him his own outpost. He got promoted. Farewell. Uh, and so yeah, this is done right over this way. Well, this is nice. At least we found some more quest. I, I doubt that he'll have a breadcrumb that takes us anywhere, but we'll see. Yeah, now if we went all the way all the way west from Crossroads, you you hit this like wall of lava. We're we're up here now. I know the map shows us up here. We're we're like right around here. I was, uh, I was kind of expecting more harpies. Oh, here we go. Found a few of them. They made this whole middle section like really, really safe. It used to be like back-to-back -back harpies in here. These guys are saying mean things about Rexar. Like, what's Rexar got to do with this? Why are why are they why are they mad at Rexar? They're like Rexar's ally, murderer. Did Rexar kill a bunch of harpies and like that upset them? I don't remember remember that from Vanilla. This must be like a cataclysm thing. Oh, we, we got to phone that one in. That's nice. Uh, we still we still need slayers. I'm assuming slayers are going to be a little bit further back. Khalid, good evening. Welcome to the stream. How am I doing today? Ah, I, I had some technical issues this morning. So I, I've been better. I... I, all, a lot of my settings for like my mouse, my keyboard, my microphone, a lot of my settings got like completely whacked. So it's been a little bit of a struggle. And right now I'm playing without the use of my mouse buttons. Which is why my hot bar looks a little bit different than it normally does. Is 
In, in classic era, there's not really like a main a main quest line or main campaign. Like for most of classic, like the stories are told like on a zone by zone basis. Like the best way to think about it in classic, as far as like the storytelling and the lore, is that each zone has like its own thing going on. Each zone has a little bit of lore. Each zone has a little bit of story. Uh, each each zone is like a character. Like it, that's like one of the things my friend told me when I first started playing. I was like I was like, who are the main characters? Like what's the story? And he said, the zones are the characters. Like, e each zone is a character. Like, you're learning about the zone, the things happening in the zone, the environment, and the mobs, the enemies, the conflicts. And that's kind of how, like, storytelling and lore are handled, like, throughout the classic era. Like, as far as, like, direct narrative storytelling, like, I feel like WoW only started to do, like, a big, like, heavy narrative storytelling. Ma maybe, like... A little bit in the 80 to 85 Kata content, and then like through Mop and onward, you really had like a more linear like story quest narrative that could be called like a main story quest. But for a lot of classic, it's like there isn't really like a main an MSQ in the sense you might think about like an MSQ from like Final Fantasy. Legion, like, well, Wad, Wad really started with, I remember, like, the opening intro for, like, Warlords of Draenor was, like, really narrative-heavy. It was, like, w the most narrative-heavy, like, gameplay they'd had where you're just, like, following these characters around, there's lots of dialogue, you're not, you're not let off the rails right away. I feel like that, that kind of gameplay started, like, in, in Warlords of Draenor. A little bit, even in Mist of Pandaria. Am I gonna prep a character to be ready for the Kata content? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I'm sure. I'll, I'm sure I'll have something. I got. I got two paladins. If I. If I just like. If I get super lazy, I, I have a horde paladin that I'm gonna take. Like they're. They've been capped out for a while. That's like. That's my go-to. If I. If I don't feel like leveling anything. Um, you know, we'll see when the pre-patch comes out. Then I'll probably pick something to level up. Part part of uh part of the beta is like testing out different classes and seeing like what else do I want to do that's not the paladin. So I'm I'm hoping to be able to level the warrior and level maybe like at least one more class on the beta. To see like what else I might want to do. Uh, the Harpies you've killed mentioned their matron. They mentioned the matron. They're like, while we're killing them, they're like, Hey, we have this matron! Ah, oh, then we hit them with our sword. Like, they discussed it with us while we've been slaughtering them. Uh, Serena Bloodfeather. I like it. They, they mentioned it, you know, while you, you're murdering them, they just, like, happened to mention her. Uh, hunters, they're gonna attach a stigma to every class, you know. If you're not that hunter, you'll be that rep pally or that DPS warrior. Like, every class has, like, a possible, like, negative stigma, you know. There, I guess there are a few classes, like, you know, like, mages don't take a lot of guff. People, people kind of leave warlocks alone, I guess. But yeah, like, there's a few classes that are just kind of like, you're gonna be given crap. You know, whether you're the, the hunter, or you're the rep pally, or you're the DPS warrior. You know, just play what you like. Like, don't don't worry about what other people feel. You're gonna you're gonna have looking for group finders, so it's not like you're it's not like you're gonna miss out on like getting groups and stuff because you're a hunter. Because you're not gonna, really gonna be relying on people to like give you a manual invite, like uh, like the five man content. They're even gonna have looking for raid. So, ah, uh, where is this person at? Did I already get him? Oh, I did. I I got him. I killed her apparently, and I didn't even really notice.
guys I, I could mount up. We could we could ride our mount out of here. <laughs> there are no male harpies. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's... That is true. That is true. I guess I, I've never really thought too much about it, but yeah. Th there's a couple of races in the game that are, that are like that. How much was the mount? The mount was like total for training and the mount. I think it was about five gold. It might have it been just under or just over five gold. Oh man, we get a ring with some strength on it. That's awesome. Farewell. Uh, report to Thork at the crossroads. I don't want to go back strength. to the crossroads right now. Don't make me go back. Uh, we were kind of looking for like a way to get anywhere. Like so, right now, right now, where are we at? We're we're technically. Oh man, I don't even know where we're at anymore. We're somewhere. <laughs> like uh, on the on the map, we're somewhere. Um. I don't even know anymore where we're at on the map, honestly. And so that makes life that makes life difficult, you know, a little bit challenging. I, I can't really like pick anywhere to go because I don't know where I am. Somebody mentioned that there was a rocket that might take us somewhere, like back at the nozzle part outpost. Maybe we just hearth back there and then at least then I know like where I'm at on the map. And we can kinda come up with a plan for how to get it somewhere else. I'm like, I can't... This is very, very, like, challenging. Very challenging. Like, I, it's like, it's so messed up. Uh, there is a rocket here. I don't, I don't have a way to get on the rocket, I don't think. Hey! How you doing? Oh, what is this? Go get him, champ! Be careful out there! I'm gonna regret this. This is a low-level quest. Um, or wait. No, it wasn't. Uh, looks like your work here was done. You'd better head back to the crossroads. Okay, so th everything's taking us back to the crossroads. That's fine. We'll 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 take the rocket. I I bet we get shot down or something on the way. I bet we get shot down. Patrick, good afternoon, man. Thanks for stopping by. Paul, good afternoon. Welcome. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it feels like with the music, we're probably gonna get shot down. What do I think about shamans in Canada? I have no idea. I, ha I haven't played a shaman yet, really. I played the goblin a little bit. I, I'm Shaman might be one of the classes I level in the beta to try to figure out like if they're any good, if they're any fun. Uh, and I, I, I'm gonna play in the I'm playing the Goblin Shaman for the Goblin starting area, but I don't know if I'll like stick on the Goblin or if we'll maybe we'll go back to the door if I started. So I, I don't remember the Cataclysm classes like specifically, you know, like the all this Warrior stuff is pretty new to me, and Warrior is a class that like historically I'm pretty familiar with. But, like, the classes are so, like, different in each expansion that it's hard to remember exactly what they were like. This music is intense. We got so close to the crossroads. But we're just not, we're not gonna make it. How am I finding the, are there any hiccups in the beta? Oh yeah, yeah, the whole map is busted. Like right now, right now we're over the Forgotten Pools, but the map shows us up. This is the biggest, the biggest problem with the beta so far has been that the map is broken. Uh, but there've been lots of bugs. Yeah, it's it's very, very much a beta. Not having a working map is the is the most grievous problem. Oh, this this was how we were supposed to find this guy. 
this was just to get us right back out here. That's all this was. Okay, well, I got—I guess the more you know. Now, now I gotta find my way back to the crossroads somehow. Uh, so I, I am over here, I think. I, I need to head, like, mostly east, but also slightly south. And maybe, maybe I can find the way back to the crossroads without, without a map. Mount? I, I could mount, yeah. I, I, I told you I'm going to forget every time. I, I am not used to having a mount in the game at all. So so much like leveling in sod, like below level 40. So many hardcore characters, like... I'm just not used to ever having a mount. Maybe I should get to the road here. The road should take me back to, to the crossroads. And then, yeah, and then maybe we just, maybe we just take the road north to get into Ashenvale after that and see what happens. If, the, if they don't give us a breadcrumb that takes us anywhere. Didn't Kata make the music change way too much? Yeah, the, the, it was Kata, uh-huh. Yeah, the music tracks don't last very long. I, I ranted about this uh, a couple days ago. I think it must have been like yesterday or the day before I ranted about the audio design. Like, the music tracks themselves are really good. This one in particular is really awesome. But the problem is that, like, the music changes all the time. Like, every time you enter, like, a, a specific area of the map, the music will change. And even if you stand still, the music tracks are only, like, 45 seconds long before they, they change into another one. So they have amazing music, but you don't get to listen to any specific track long enough to really, like, get immersed or chill out or enjoy it. And, yeah, they, they, they're not going to change it. it it's, how, it's how it is in retail time walking. It's how it is right now in the beta. Like, they've got so many problems, they probably don't even have a sound design guy, like, on their team. Strength and honor. Dabu. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. The battle in Ashen Vale wa uh, wages. Rages. Without, I can't read the font in these little boxes. I, there's no immersion yet for Cataclysm. I, w I want them to, hopefully soon we'll have some like add-ons I can get immersion going. And then I can actually read uh, the quest a little bit easier. Our forces at the Morshan Ramparts are in desperate need of reinforcements and supplies. We have a major shipment of medicines and food headed north and I need a capable warrior like you to guard it. Uh, Rocco Whipshank waits for you at the road. Okay, so this is the caravan that people were telling me about. For the whore. So it's not that I missed the caravan, it's that I had not completed the prereqs that yet for the caravan. Uh, do we have anything we can what vendor? Probably. I'm gonna ditch the shield. Okay, so supposedly somewhere there should be a caravan. Oh, here he is, right? Caravan master. Rooktar. Uh, he has like something really interesting going on with his face. I've never seen that orc skin color option before. That's quite something. All right, let's For go. For the horde. Are we gonna have to like defend the caravan? I don't see like any any rifle option or like any kind of defense. But I wonder if we have to fight enemies. The music is kind of indicating that um, something's gonna happen. 
It's like a high speed chase at a slow speed. I, I, I open the map. When am I ever gonna learn? Steven, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. I wish I knew like where I was. Not now I have like really no idea of where I'm at. Okay. Um I have been I have been captured. I I have been I have been so captured. The burning blade sends its greetings and many nets. Quickly now grab one of them while I take the supply card. Which one should I take? Uh, the one with 30 nets on him. The fat one. He'll make for a nice sacrifice. Oh. So rude. Do they have to be rude and abduct us? Oh, they're not taking us. We're just, we're just frozen. Who are they taking? Oh my god. That's, that definitely worked as intended. Yeah. That was working. Look, someone else is going through the same thing. <laughs> Okay, this guy's got his hands up. He's like, no, don't. Like, is this, this is a T-pose? We got a dude stuck in a T-pose here? Is that what's going on? Hands where I can see him, buddy. We hear you've been getting up to trouble in these parts. That's right, you better be afraid. <laughs> He's looking for the rest of YMCA, yeah. What can I do for Oh you? man. Be safe. For it's the definitely, whole. definitely a beta. Uh, they took Balgor and the caravan supplies from our very doorstep. Those supplies are vital to our victory against the Alliance in Ashenvale, and Balgor, if anything happens to my dear little brother, I will rip every Burning Blade member to shreds myself. I need you to rescue Balgor. She's like, I'll kill everybody if they hurt him, but I ha you have to go rescue him for me. I have to stay here. Uh, follow the path to the north and up into Dreadmist Peak. Oh, they took him to Dreadmist Peak. Your blades never That's a cool little area. So yeah, he's like... He's up here somewhere. Oh, look, they, they built a the little road for us. Yeah, I don't think there used to be a road. I think you used to have to, like, just climb up the mountain. If there was a road uh, like this in, Cl in Vanilla Era, I never noticed it. I always scaled up the side of one of the mountains, and then, like, I went down, like, the same way. Perhaps this whole time there was a, a convenient little road.
Did we fight a demon here? I don't remember what we did here. I almost feel like maybe it was part of a class quest. Oh no, wait, it, it started... Yeah, yeah, I kind of remember. We got like a time... There was a timed item from a guy at the outpost. It was like a warlock dude, and he gave us like a timed orb, and you, got, you had to come here before the charge on the orb ran out, otherwise you had to go back for, to refresh the item. I kind of remember. We, we, we brought some kind of item here to do something. They're planning to sacrifice me. Their demons are already licking their chops over my corpse. Oh, weird. Ah, uh, makes me think twice about my own diet. Anyway, they've got a guard watching me, watching my every move. They've got a guard watching his every move, but, like, we just walked up and started talking to him. I can get myself out of here, but I need a good distraction. So weird. Be safe. Um, yeah. Strength. Listen, we can't leave quite yet. I managed to overhear their plans while they were preparing for the ritual sacrifice. They're planning to use a powerful artifact called the Demon Seed to launch a full-scale attack on the Horde. They are keeping it under close guard over in that cave. If you can get your hands on the Demon Seed, we should take it to my sister Nagala. Be okay. safe. Okay. That, this guy's kind of sending me like mixed messages, but let's go after the Demon Seed. What are the chances he's actually, like, one of them? Like, maybe he's been converted. That guy should have been- he should have been an elite. That's like, like, like the first demon that we've encountered. That's like a pretty big deal. It would have been cool if he had been like an elite or at least had a little bit more HP. I came down the wrong side of the mountain. Just the complete wrong side. Yeah, there is no caravan now. Like, we, we didn't recover the caravan. We didn't even really necessarily save the guy. We never resolved, like... I guess we created a distraction for him, so you could say, like, maybe he got himself out, but... I don't know that we really saw that one through. And, and yet, like, now there's there's another caravan here. Maybe this is, like, uh, the caravan that belongs to some other player. I don't know. Strength and honor. Farewell. Dabu. You're back. Belgor made it down before you. Oh, he got back before us. Of course he did. He's already eaten two bowls of raptor stew. Considering that his appetite hasn't suffered, I'm sure he'll be fit to travel in no time. So somehow, like, everything's fine. The caravan was a fiery wreck. He had been captured. They were keeping a close eye on him. And now suddenly, it's uh, we're all good. There are no problems. Farewell. Uh, you've managed to stir the burning blade's nest. Our scouts report that they are gathering for an attack. You must com complete the caravan journey before they arrive. The supplies are packed, the coders are rested, and I hope you don't mind, but I made a few adjustments to your gun. Daboo. Now we're gonna have a gun. Okay, so. How do we get going? Glory I'm ready to, to ride. Yeah, I think I think we're ready to go. For the horde. Uh Tipo's guy Tipo's guy is gone. Yeah, they, they fixed him. Speak, friend. All right, so we've got our gun. We've also got a spiral barrage. 
Uh, okay, okay. I don't know if I should be shooting these guys or what. Okay, they, I like how they all just kind of like stop and they hang out. They're like, uh, okay, 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 good. Perfect. Lotar, go for uh, Let's the see. Victory. Some days we gain quarter, other days we are beaten back behind our walls. Every day we bury more of our brothers and sisters. Not only have the supplies you brought strengthened our troops, but your heroic deeds have inspired them as well. Oh, we get a blue. We got a blue for doing a, a vehicle quest. How crazy is that? We got we got Kadric's axe, two-handed axe. Oh, nice. That's a really unique looking one too. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Dabu. Very cool. I've never been rewarded so much for something so inherently easy and simple. Good times. Okay, uh, what else? Morshan defense. So the campaign is finally underway. Soon all of Ashenvale will be in the grip of the Horde. As we expected, our offensive is forcing the enemy to test our defense at every position. Here at Morshan, their assault has been decimated, but the Vice Titans, they will have no choice but to continue to press us here. Scout the region, search for the Night Elf survivors, and cut them down. Go forth okay. to victory. And Strength. find Gorat. Garat is one of the Horde's most adept assassins. The mere mention of his name strikes fear into the hearts of the Alliance foes. He is reliable, fiercely loyal, and until now punctual. Something's not right. Garat's mission was to find and eliminate the elf in charge of this assault on the ramparts. He should be somewhere in the region of the Fallen Sky Lake. Oh, he's dead. Go with honor. Yeah, there's no way he's alive. Uh, yeah. Cool, let's go. Will the Ashenvale map also be messed up? I, I don't know. We can cross our fingers, but I'm not, I'm not, like, super hopeful. Oh, wait, I, I didn't, there's one more quest back here I just didn't grab. Oh, there's a lot more quests. Everybody's got quests for days. Yeah, everybody suddenly has quests. What brings you here? Uh, uh, empty quivers. Things may appear a little chaotic here, but do not worry, Kadric has this juncture sealed up tight. Not a single elf has breached our lines. While you're here, I'm expecting a shipment of fresh supplies from Orgrimmar any day, but our watchmen are running dangerously low on arrows. Bring me any that you find. Alright, so we're collecting arrows. We're going after Ashenvale scrimmagers and bowmen. Right, untrack that one. We got the flight points. 
we, we had another quest giver. Um, I just, I, I wasn't quick enough. And now, now they vanished. I, I don't really know. I can't claim to know what happened. Maybe, maybe some kind of phasing happened. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I got, I got no ideas. Oh, they're back. Okay, they're back. Let's, let's go check them out. Let, let's try one more time. We'll try to grab it really quick. It's some kind of phasing that's happening. The winds guide you. Uh, use the medicated cell on five wounded defenders. Okay, winds so we're we're healing people. Back. Let's let's get out of here before we lose these guys again. Does the flight point work? The flight points have been working today. Yeah, there was that one flight point yesterday that didn't work, but uh, yeah, I've had a couple of flight points today that actually worked. We, we were able to fly out and, and get our mount, so that one at least was working. Yeah, I don't know. Is it safe to say that the map is still messed up? <laughs> like, we're not even really like on the Ashenvale map yet. But I feel like I feel like we should be on the Ashenvale map if the map were not messed up. Um, okay, so this is the Ashenvale map now, and it, it almost looks okay. Uh, we're showing up near the entrance, and that is where we're at. This might, this map might be working. We, we, we might have a functional map here. Well, yeah, we, we might have a real working map on our hands. How crazy would that be? If we can, if we had a, like some gameplay where the map worked, that would that would alleviate like a lot of energy and a lot of stress, just to have a map working. Hail. A dark shore is probably the one that's screwy. Yeah, it feels like it's like every other zone. Like Silver Pine was okay, but Hillsborough was messed up. Duratar was okay, but the Barons were messed up. It's like every other like sequential zone is messed up. Shadow, have I seen the news for the new WoW patch? I have not. I thought about streaming retail today to check out the uh, whatever the pirate event was. Obviously, I, I ended up here instead. What brings you here? It's a battle royale. Interesting. How it'll work, it's sheer chaos. That's the whole point, right? That sounds... It, it, like, it sounds like it would be enraging for someone like me who's just bad at PvP. But maybe that could be fun for people who like those types of games. Huh, that, that's interesting. Is that is that a limited time event? Is that the limited time event? They're gonna have a battle royale, but it's only gonna be in the game for a little while.
I was hoping it was gonna be the vampire survivor thing that they found in the game files like a long time ago. I was hoping for like a vampire survivor game like built into into WoW. That would be something I would play. The name of the patch is Plunderstorm? Are you joking? Is that is that is is Plunderstorm really the name of the patch? Yeah. Plun Plunderstorm. That that's uh that's bold. That's um I mean it strikes me as just like a little bit weird. Plunder the Plunderstorm. Okay, okay. They've gone completely off the rails. That's fun. It sounds like a mobile game. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder, how do I think the community feels about the plunder storm? Without looking at the forums, how would I think that people feel about this? I hope, I hope they're happy, I guess. They've been, everyone's been waiting so long for the pirate patch. After being told that there were going to be no pirates in the game. And I feel like when people wait a long time for like a release to happen, they start to build up an idea in their head of what it's going to be like. And then it's like basically impossible to feel like it's what you wanted or what you thought it would be by the time it finally comes out. This guy, I needed to get ahead of this guy. He's like, he's looting all, oh yeah, give me a buff. Like I need the arrows, man. You just took you just took all the arrows. I needed I needed one more arrow and I would have been done. He could have had the rest. I just I couldn't catch him. I can't even tell if I'm in the right area now. Let's come over here to the to the turn in and get that done at least. You were hoping for a pirate class. I mean, you had to know that that was like a crazy expectation. You you, you weren't really thinking you were going to get that. You can, I guess you can hope for something, but know that that's not ever going to happen like that. Plunge into a challenging battle that earns excellent rewards for World of Warcraft modern and classic progression realms. Wait, what? All you have to do is survive and plunder. Can't seem to stay in the realm of the living? No problem. Plunderers still gain progression that helps unlock new rewards. Each map is a 10 to 15 minute long session and has 60 players per match, with the winner being the last one standing. Level up and acquire new abilities and spells by killing creatures and enemies, looting chests, and avoiding the encroaching storm. They, they, they do a good job of making it sound like it could be fun. What do they mean when they say for excellent rewards for modern and classic progression realms? What does that mean? Do they mean do they mean Wrath of the Lich King? I'm a little hazy on like is this just a dragonflight thing? Why do they say modern and classic progression realms? I think I have like links disabled except for moderators. But yeah, everyone can go check it out on Wowhead though. I, I just wonder if there's any clarification on um, on whether or not it's a classic thing also or if it's only a Dragonflight thing. It sounds cool. I don't maybe I'll check it out. I got I got my level eight, my level 80 shaman is in like okay gear. It's she's like like a four four fifty item level or something. I don't remember. Not not awful gear. Uh, I'm looking for skirmishers. Where are the skirmishers? They're hanging out right here in front of me. Yeah, the the phrasing is weird though. 
pl plunge into a challenging battle that earns excellent rewards for World of Warcraft modern and classic progression realms. Uh, maybe, I don't know, like what could you be, maybe you're earning something in Dragonflight that like applies to your classic account too? I don't know. It's its own drop-down in the client? No. I'm not- I'm not seeing that. I'm not- Not on my- oh, for- maybe for Dragonflight? Yeah, I- I don't see it like that. Yeah, I'm not I'm not seeing any of that stuff. Here, let me let me switch my scene here and you can see what I'm seeing. Like I, I don't I don't see any of that stuff. Yeah, I, I just have the basic like classic Lich King classic and in, in live. Select Plunderstorm from the World of Warcraft game menu. Maybe my uh maybe my battle net's not up to date. I don't know. I don't I don't I don't have the plunder storm. Does anyone else have access to the plunder storm? <laughs> I feel like maybe I, I, I would check this out if I had access to it. Can I can I kill can I restart my battle net and not lose my connection to the game? We're about to, we're about to find out. Yeah, that did it. I still don't have it. I'm convinced this is a, this is an April Fool's joke, right? Is maintenance still ongoing? Is that what it is? Oh god, they ext okay. The maintenance for retail doesn't end till six my time. So maybe maybe it's just a, a time thing. Maybe it's not up yet. Yeah, it might not be up yet. Okay, right on. Maybe maybe we'll check it out tomorrow. I didn't realize that they had an extended maintenance today. It makes sense if they if they're dropping like an entirely new like game client. So so wow, like that's that's pretty crazy. Look at Wowhead, let's see. Um Plunderstorm pass notes. Yeah, I mean, there are like some specific class changes that go along with it. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll have to try it and see. <laughs> Battle Royale mode with pirates, yeah. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, so they want to make a Battle Royale. Um, it's weird, like... I feel like, the, don't they have a game that would be like a good battle royale? What about Overwatch having like a battle royale? Wouldn't Overwatch be like a... A more likely target for like a battle royale type of game? <laughs> most of the... You're surprised that most of the feedback is negative? Or is that... Sh that doesn't surprise me at all. Like Blizzard tries brand new thing. It's a complete surprise to players. They they didn't see it coming and they're not happy about it. Like that's not a big surprise. I don't know. I mean, WoW has battlegrounds. I guess like I'll, I'll check I'll check it out tomorrow after it's out. We'll, we'll play a little bit and see how we feel. 
I'm kind of interested in like what are the what's the progression system? It's like what are the pro I guess it's it's all self-contained, right? So, but they also said that you would earn rewards towards like towards your classic and your and your retail account. Go forth to victory. The login is actually selected in the Dragonflight character select screen. But this Ancestors but this isn't live right you. now. This this is not going to be live till maintenance ends, correct? Be careful. Like none of you guys are able to log in and play this game mode right now this minute, are you? What brings you here? Ancestors watch over you. May the eternal sun shine upon thee. And she's gone again. That is super unfortunate. It's not live yet. Yeah. We'll, we'll check it out tomorrow. I, I'll fire it up this evening on my own and kind of like putz around a little bit so I, I understand like what's happening. And then we will, uh, maybe we'll play some of it. I'm always down to try a new, a new thing and wow, like, you know, we might not like it. It might, it might not be good, but they made it for us. So we might as well check it out. PvP is not my thing either. No. Walk with the Earth Mother. Ancestors. But but a, but a battle royale is like a little bit different. So it, it could be fun anyway. Uh, Gorat's blood was fresh enough for me to concoct a special ritual taught to me as a child. Use this imbued blood on Gorat's corpse to summon forth his lingering spirit. Sounds like a bad idea. Winds be at your back. But okay. They make it sound like you can work through like progression and, and unlock stuff even if you're bad at PvP. Like they went out of their way to be like, hey, have trouble staying alive? No big deal. So who knows, maybe you can unlock some cool cosmetics. I'm sure there's like a bunch of pirate cosmetics you can unlock. Well, I mean, maybe I made the mistake of following the quest marker here. This this seems to be like where it leads us, but I don't uh, I don't see anybody. Use it on his corpse. Yeah, there's no there's no corpse here. This this quest tracking must be off. Um, yeah, I got I got no clues to really go on. Besides, like, the quest tracking, it, do it doesn't really guide me back to it. Yeah, there there's no directions in, in the written part of the, of the quest. There's literally, like, only the quest tracking to... ...to follow. Requires Garat's corpse. Okay, okay, um... So that's a problem. I wonder why why the quest so like well, in, in the barrens the map was broken but the quest tracking worked and now maybe the map is working but the quest tracking is broken it's possibly what's going on he's back here so, somehow I remembered where he was actually at but yeah that's it's quite a bit away from like the actual quest tracking but hey, I found him. I'll try to I'll try to do a bug report on this one to indicate that the quest tracking is broken. If I if I remember when I go to turn it in. Uh, we must hurry now. I sense that my time is short. Okay, where are we going now? Maybe he's gonna lead us. Maybe this is where we fight the guy. So it's, it's not marking w where we go to use the item. It's marking where we eventually go to fight the person. Which seems like a weird way to do it. 
I ideally, you would mark the one, and then you would mark the other one. Happy first day of spring? Get out of here with that nonsense. It's like 32 degrees outside Fahrenheit for me right now. I, I don't want to hear about your spring. Your tidings of spring. No, it's really cold here. We, we had a cold snap. It was, it was mild last week, and then this week's been really, really brutal. It snowed, it snowed here yesterday. Yeah, it's, it's been bad. Yeah, we got snow coming on Friday. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's been really, really cold. It's like, I guess, I, I don't want to say unseasonably. Unexpectedly cold, because it, it got mild and I thought maybe we'll actually get an early spring. But we, we, we're not getting an early spring. We're getting a lingering winter. I, I swam out to him and he like, he jumps across the entire lake. Awesome. Alright, um, I thought maybe we would turn the quest into him, but no, we, we don't turn the quest, we, we run back. And we'll just leave his spirit here for all eternity, just kind of standing here on the shore of the lake. What state am I? I'm in southern Michigan. Like the southern part of southern Michigan. So I'm not even in like the northern part where you might expect there to be a lot of snow all the time. I'm, I'm in the southernmost part of the southern part. and thunder for the horde well okay here we go we got another quest peace friend uh got wood that's the name of the quest got wood great 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 where we move to yeah when we move we'll be moving back to Kansas City yeah back to Missouri uh, Kadrick has just received fresh orders for our troops. I hear we're to begin offensive strikes into Ashenvale. I have far too few supplies to support an assault, and my shipment from Ogremar has yet to arrive. Wait, we brought you a shipment. I am forced to improvise. Wait, 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 wait. Where are we? Oh, we're taking the Kodo to Warsong Lumber Camp. Okay. Goodbye. Weird. All right, let's let's talk to the Kodo. Which Kodo? I don't see a Kodo. Sub -sub. Here we go, Kadrak. Strength. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to I'll take a little break soon if, if we're gonna if we're gonna play much longer. I'm gonna need to refill my coffee and maybe get a little snack and stretch my legs a little bit, perhaps. It's been it's been kind of a crazy day so far. Alex, welcome to the stream, man. Uh, maintenance maintenance in classic era is done, I think. Maintenance is still ongoing in retail. The retail maintenance is the big maintenance. It goes on until uh, until six o'clock my time. Everything else has been up since eleven o'clock my time. Yeah, let me let me see what this quest is. Got got wood, yeah. Okay. Uh, Trun needs wood. Normally I could provide, but not today. With constant elf attacks, gathering lumber is dangerous work. The peons I have left are reluctant to venture into the woods. You want wood? Then go convince the peons to work, and keep them safe. I cannot afford to lose any more. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I think we. We'll, this is not like a super safe place to like chill, but maybe we'll take a little break here. Do I play Warhammer at all? I used to dabble in Warhammer, but no, it was too too hard for me. I'm, I'm not smart enough to play games like Warhammer. Like my, my level of intelligence is quite lacking. So I, I don't. I do not partake in the Warhammer. 
All right, guys, I'm going to take like a little 10 minute break here and I will be back in a little bit. I'll put us on the break screen and I will see you guys on the flip side.
All right, we are back. What are we doing? Uh, we are getting freshly cut wood. We have to make the peons do work, and then we have to protect the peons. Something like that. Are they are they trying to do the EU maintenance at the same time as uh, as NA maintenance for this? Is that what they're trying to do? Yeah, because people people like obviously you guys were not happy. It was supposed to be like you know a big like secret release like and you guys were gonna get it late. But that'd be cool if they can uh, do a simultaneous mm -hmm. release. But that will still be like super late for you guys. Like it, it'll still be like you know the middle of the night or whatever. If it's uh, if it's six p.m. our time, then what is that like midnight, one o'clock in the morning ish? You don't have maintenance. Oh, okay, from what I read, it seemed like you you were saying that servers were down. I thought if the servers were down, maybe they were trying to push your maintenance out early. Ogra, may your blades never dull. Uh, so we click on these guys. I guess do I need to stick around? Yeah, it seems like I have to actually stick around. Oh my god, wait. Wait, wait, wait. They they chop the wood and then they die? Or did I let that one get killed? That was a little weird. I didn't expect them to die. Something you doing? I let him get killed. <laughs> I'm terrible. I thought I thought I was doing fine. Yeah, you can't trust me to watch your back while you chop wood, I guess. He says, I'm trusting you, don't let me die. Oh, I, I let the last one die, so... The odds are not in your favor. Well, see, he lived. He's, he's fine. Is he gonna go cut more wood, or is he done? Oh, he's done. Okay, he just disappears into thin air. Of course, he can he can only be bothered to chop one bundle of wood. I thought maybe if we protected the same guy, they would keep working, and we would just keep like collecting the wood from the one guy we were protecting. But apparently, that's not how it works. What do you want? Something you doing? Can you transfer your beta character once Cata releases? Come on now. <laughs> Come on. No, absolutely not. There has there has never been a time in the history of World of Warcraft where you've been able to take your beta character into like a real version of the game. No, beta, beta characters live and die on the beta servers. Heck, any day now they could do a big up update and they could wipe all the existing beta characters. Like one day I could log in and this character might not even exist here. That's just uh, part of it being the beta. Z 
जग जग So there's no incentive of playing the beta? Maybe. I mean, the incentive exists with inside you or it doesn't. Either either you are incentivized or you aren't. Like, individual people are incentivized towards different behaviors. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there might not be an incentive for you to play, whereas the incentive for me to play is that I'd like to see some classes so that I know what I want to do going into the, going into the pre-patch. So like, I'm incentivized to play. Because I get to try the classes early. Um, but yeah, maybe for some other... If all you care about is like keeping your progress, then uh, you're not going to be incentivized to play. Yeah, sure. But you can't say that there is no incentive. There's no incentive for you. It's not smart. It's just common sense. No, I'm not, I'm not smart. <laughs> I'm not saying anything intelligent. I'm just saying the obvious. Drink and honor. Go with honor. Go forth to victory. Spring. Uh, you have you have your wood. <laughs> you have your wood. Okay. But the encroaching elves have made it impossible for your Kodo to return to Morshan ramparts. I've dispatched a runner to Splinter Tree to summon aid. It shouldn't take long for their forces to clear the way. In the meantime, I would ask you to do us a service. Rust has rendered our shredders inoperable. A little lubrication, and they'll be as good as new. We are talking about wood and lubrication in the same quest. This this quest is sus. This is a suspect quest. Um, I think we all know what's going on here. Oh, she ran off. She's she's gone. I, I waited too long. I, I waited too long. What is she doing? Where'd she go? Oh, she just ran out to the middle of the camp here. She's just chilling. Okay, okay, okay. She's on the back of a Kodo. She, she's out. Oh, okay, she's back. Okay, I see what's happening. Let's just, let's just take the quest and not think about it too much. Uh, collect five natural oil from the rotting slimes in Ashendale. Okay. Yeah, let, let's just, we don't have to think about it too much. Let's just go do it. It's clearly suspect. How's the music here? It seems a little quiet to me. I feel like I should also have a quest for the uh, for the severed keepers. It's really strange that I'm being sent into this area and that I don't have a quest for them yet. Um, hmm. Hmm. Did I did I perhaps miss a couple of quest pickups? Oh, I have an unspent talent point. Pretty typical. Let's put the third point into deep wounds. At least it was only one talent point and not like three or four of them.
Yeah, my, my audio on my side might be completely messed up. I, I had a huge technical problem this morning. And, and basically, like, all the settings on my keyboard, my microphone, my camera, my mouse, all got completely broken. And I had to reconfigure everything, like, starting from scratch, from, like, the hardware on the microphone itself, to the settings, to the settings in OBS. Like, I, every, I've had to, like, redo everything from the ground up, and it's probably... Pe people convinced me earlier that it was fine, and I never really believed it, and I feel like it's probably still not fine. But yeah, so uh, all the all the audio has been weird. It feels like the music is is probably like really quiet here. There's not really a lot I can do. Let me check my in-game stuff and see what it's at. Okay, I can probably maybe I can just turn music up a little bit, and maybe that'll help. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Okay. Yeah. Maybe maybe something like that. Yeah, I'm really dreading listening to this VOD later and just like learning how horrible the auto audio actually is. And how much more work I probably have before I like figure out how to get it back to how it was. I, I am not looting a lot of this item. I'm pretty sure it said like any slimes in this area, but it, maybe it's a low drop rate. Alex, audio is fine for you. It's fine for you, but like, does it sound the same as it sounded yesterday? Because to me, there's a big difference. To me, there's a big difference between it sounding okay and it sounding how it has always sounded. Because like, when I when I look at my like audio mixer, the levels, like the little bars that I'm seeing, like they don't look the same. It's uh, it looks it, it's looked wrong all day. Yeah, on top of that, I, I my, my mouse is like, I can't use any of my mouse buttons right now. My mouse is completely messed up, so it's been a, it's been a struggle bus sort of day. I've been really struggling. It sounds exactly the same to you, Dustin. That's good. I, I tried to get it as close to uh, as I could back to normal. Like on my, on my end, it doesn't sound normal. On my end, nothing about uh, the audio sounds the same as yesterday, but like looking at where I have it adjusted, it looks similar. It looks similar, but different. But if it's okay, if it's okay for you guys, I mean, maybe it's as good as it's gonna get. I I'm not gonna mess with anything else, I guess. And then sometime today, I'll have to see if I can fix my mouse. It was trying to fix my mouse that broke everything else. So I'm kind of trying to think about how I'm gonna go about it differently. The music sounds better now that I actually turned up the in-game music settings. Now the music might be a little loud. I have another quest over here to pick up. Oh, it's it's Torek. Torek's probably gonna want to do his raid. <laughs> My voice is lower than the in-game music. See, I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> See, that's that's not necessarily the same as it was yesterday. Yeah, my my voice should be slightly louder than the in-game music. How how about this? How is that? Yeah, my my voice should not be quieter necessarily than the in-game music. It should be like just just above it, basically. Did I did I miss Torek? I looked away. I looked away for a split second, and Torek's gone. So I, I guess I missed my opportunity to do that quest. Uh, yeah, he's somebody. Somebody's got him down here. All right. Uh, I'll probably never remember to come check this place again, but we'll see.
It's better now? Yeah, I'm like, on my end, my voice is peeking into the red just a little bit occasionally, which is not great, but... It looks like I'm getting a little bit above the game music now, so... I don't know. I, I, I obsessed about it for like the first like hour today, so I don't know. I'm trying not to obsess about it too much, but... There will be no help coming from Splinter Tree. The elves have launched a major assault on our stronghold there, and they have the place surrounded. We must inform Kadrak or die trying. Your Kodo has been loaded up with the wood you collected. Let me know when you're ready, and we'll charge the enemy lines. Go forth to victory. Let's charge the enemy lines. Oh no, is she dead? Did they just kill her off? She got hit by like a dozen arrows. I'm wounded, she says. They all fired arrows directly into her chest. And she's like, hurry, I'm wounded. I think you're dying. Yeah, I, d I doubt she gets out of this alive. Sorry, Gorka. You knew your days were numbered as soon as you gave us a quest. We're back. We've done full circle. We're back at the ramparts. I am finished. So they just let her die. Like no one even no one even tried to cast a heal spell. We're just walking away. We didn't even she fell off and died in the road and like we just walked away. We got we got to park our ride. We'll go back and check on your corpse in a minute. Oh no, she's gone. She's just totally gone now. What a way to go. What a, a way to go. Uh, we must always be prepared for losses. Her honorable service to the Horde will not be forgotten. Oh, I will. It'll be for I'll forget her name by the end of the day. You're coming with me. There's no one else I can spare, and we cannot afford for Splinter Tree to be the to be lost. Prepare yourself and speak to me again when you're ready. Let's go ahead and vendor. Uh, if we have vendors. Um, what do you need? Yeah, I thought we had vendors here, but apparently the the vendors are phasing in and out. So Lotar. What do you need? Go for I'm not sure what's victory. going on here. Strength and honor. Um Speak to Kedrick at Morshron Amp Ramparts and accompany him. I, I can't seem to Strength. I can't seem to accompany him. Very weird. Brutus is out watering the bushes right now. What's going on with this quest, somebody says, and slash say. I think it's a phasing issue. Let's walk into Stranglethorn a little bit. It seems like when I walk into Stranglethorn, it phases the area, like, in and out, in and out. Let's, let's dip in here for a minute. Okay. Um... Let's we're on the Ashenville map. Let's go back. I see Brutusk now, so that's good. Oh no, I think this quest is busted. It seems like we got a broken quest. We got a broken vendor. We got a broken quest. It's not looking good. 
I'm gonna abandon and try to retake it. What do you need? For the horde, strength and honor. Oh man. It's brutal. Absolutely brutal. I mean with that with that off the table, I'm not really sure like what do we do now? I guess we, we could go back to Hillsbrad and try to struggle. It sucks because we just we just got into an area where the map worked, you know? Like we have a working map. We have a working map and now we can't quest here. That's really sad. I'm not very pleased with that. But you know, it's a beta, so what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? We, we could we could try to run up here and just like see if maybe we can do anything like I, I doubt us going there is going to help anything but we we can run up there and try uh, failing that we could um I thought maybe we could get into to stone tailing from here yeah maybe maybe we could try to get into stone tailing and try to pick up some quest over that way like if this is a no-go which it seems like it might be Submit a report. I ain't no snitch. I'm also not. I'm also not like unpaid labor. I'll start. I'll start submitting. I'll start submitting more tickets when they act on the tickets that I've already submitted. When they fix the water in the Worgen area. When they fix the map in the Barrens and in Hillsbrad and everywhere else where the map is literally broken. When they start fixing the major bugs that anybody could see when they log into the game then maybe I'd be more prone to actually like report report a bug because like right now reporting bugs is pointless they're they're not fixing anything so I've reported a couple of major ones already yeah there's no water oh Alex my worgen is stuck there yeah my, my worgen is stuck in the, where there should be water but there's not water he is stuck in a deep non-watery crevasse and I was, I was hoping today after maintenance they would have fixed that, but I don't believe they did. We got, we got Raging Ancients, giant elites ready to like crush us, basically. Yeah, I, I don't think that we are, are going to be able to do much here. Um, I wonder if we can even get the flight point or anything with it like this. Oh dear God, we've made a terrible mistake. We might be able to get the flight point. This dude is here, like here he is. Blood and dude, you're here. We've we've done it, right? No, we, we didn't do it. Okay, we didn't we didn't do it. We can get the flight point though. We can even take other quests here. Uh kill nine Ashenvale Outrunners. We we are familiar with that one. And destroy the legion, slay 15 of any demon. Okay, okay, maybe we can do that. We, we might be able to still do some stuff here, so that's good. Yeah, they have, they have a small team, so I don't know. I don't need, they're, they're having to piece this together from like scraps of game files. So it's, it's already a pretty heavy lift. Yeah, I should have set my hearthstone. Maybe might have. I don't know how long we're gonna even be here. So yeah, we we might not be able to stay here for very long. Depending on like what we're missing, we're gonna be missing out on something by by this not chaining. Unless this was just a breadcrumb to get us here. Like that's like best case scenario is that this quest was only a breadcrumb to get us to the post. However, I feel like without being able to finish it, we're missing like a phase. We we didn't phase like out of that fight. So I feel like we're probably missing quest. Uh, somewhere around here we can find Outrunners. Maybe they're still hanging out in stealth like they were in Classic. It really feels like they're actually running off of some version of the Dragonflight client. At least, like, when I when I fire up the beta 
and and I do like a recording. My recording software saves it where it saves retail recordings, not where it saves classic client recordings. It, it, it saves the file right in the same file that when I, when I record in Dragonflight, that's where it puts the file. So it feels like this beta client is running like some version of the Dragonflight client. I don't know if that's just like how they do beta tests, like they, maybe they always run it off of like the current client. Maybe that means nothing for how it will end up, I don't know. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I like I feel like it's probably not that simple. You know, you would think like, why can't they just use the original client? I feel like there's like probably like if 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 I was like a game designer, like like some kind of software engineer, I would know exactly why they couldn't do that because there's probably like some really obvious reasons why they couldn't do it that way. Can, I love that the text says like, "Congratulations, you have reached level zero. You click it and you get a Lua error. We have reached level zero. We finally did it." We've, we've exceeded all expectations and we've hit level zero. Talent point, you don't get talent points at level zero, so I doubt I even have one. Oh, they, they yeah. Yeah, no. No, no talent points at level zero. Yeah, we, we don't, we don't get one. We have to get to level 25. I mean, it's going to be busted through beta, but the, the whole point of a beta is so that it's not busted when it comes out, right? Like, the reason we're testing it now is so that when it hits full release, like, they, they're not going to release the game with these problems. We, we've, got, we've got a very busted game on our hands here. And, you know, they're, they're not going to release it in this state. We, we have months and months and months of testing before this game comes out. So, yeah, I, I think we'll, we'll be fine. But we're not even really looking at a pre-patch until the end of spring. And then we're not looking at full launch until, like, early summer. So we, we've got lots of time for them to fix all these problems. They should give you a plaque for beta testing. They gave you beta access. They already, they already, if you get to play the beta, they already gave you something. They gave you the ability to check out the game like super early. You know, which as we talked about earlier, like not everybody is incentivized to play a beta because of the temporary nature and the broken nature of it. But, you know, like for me, I'm just happy to be able to try out some classes before I have to worry about picking like a main. Oh look, let's let's try to go grab Torek. He, he's back. If I can not get distracted, maybe we can make it to him in time. How am I be feeling about Sod? I ha I have have not even thought about Sod. Like I haven't thought about Sod. I will I will definitely you know I'll, I'll play Sod again sometime. But yeah, not For not not horde. at least until the next level band opens up. Probably not until at least the fifty level band is open. I think like whenever the 50 level band opens, I'll jump on my Pally on Wild Growth, and we'll just we'll just keep leveling that Paladin. And maybe eventually, when that Paladin is uh, is level 60, maybe the game will be fun to play. Maybe I'll enjoy it at level 60. Maybe maybe the class won't be complete garbage at level 60. But yeah, at this point, that's probably all that I'll do. I I don't think I'm gonna level any other alts. The only thing that can get me to go back and actually level any of my alts would be if they if they made rune acquisition a lot simpler. If, if they made it so you can train like your level 1 to 25 runes and you only had to worry about finding like the 25 to 40 stuff. That would probably be the only thing that made me go back and actually want to level up another character. Le level up any of my level 25s. Like, right now I have no no ambition and no plans to do so.
Uh, I'm gonna get myself killed here, possibly. Uh, what's... Okay, okay, we're getting shot from back here, I think? Yes, we're getting... We're getting plugged from way back here. I, I hear that Sod has been pretty busy though. Like I don't I don't think anybody besides me really stopped playing Sod. It it really seems like a lot of people are having fun with the season and they're they're enjoying the cadence of the content and uh maybe they're even enjoying runes, like I don't know. It seems like most people are enjoying Sod just fine. This is one of those things where like it's like it's just not for everybody. Uh, I, I'm I'm one of the people that it's like it's not really for. Doing this quest in Hardcore would be silly. I, I'd probably avoid this one in Hardcore. Yeah, like, like I don't I don't like the fake level bans. I, I didn't really enjoy, like, my progress being stopped. Like, I didn't like Rune Acquisition very much. There's, like, there's a couple of things in Sob that, like, you know, I just don't enjoy. And, and they're, they're big enough issues that, like, it stops me from wanting to really play. Big Mike, thanks so much for the membership, man. I appreciate that. Thanks for being here. Like, literally, literally the day before... Oh, nice. The day before we got, uh, Kata access, I was about to start playing Wrath again. Uh, because I thought, like, if I, if I want to see, like, classic classes that are just a little bit different, I'd rather play, like, a more polished version of the game. So I was pretty close to going back and playing Wrath. Big Mike with the 10 gifted memberships. Thank you so much, man. That's incredibly generous of you. And welcome to the people that got gifted. That's awesome. Some, somehow my wife got gifted. <laughs> Which tells me that her membership lapsed. Thanks so much, man. Thanks for saying so, man. Thanks for being here. I guess I could loot all these guys. That'd be an okay idea. Okay, so we we are done with this one. Uh, except, okay, this one turns in back in Splinter Tree. Okay, let's go find the rest of the Outrunners and then we'll go turn this one in. You logged in the other day, Alex. There's no one on in the guilds. Oh yeah, the guild, the guilds are dead. Yeah, for sure. It'll, I, I won't. I, I don't have any plans to have to have guilds in the future. <laughs> the guilds are a little bit too like fickle for my taste. Like, I get it. Like people, like people join the guild. They want to play with me and like do stuff. And like I, I switch versions of the game very often. And ultimately, I'm, I'm probably never going to be the guy that's there every single week for for 15 weeks straight, raiding every single week. I'm probably never gonna be that person, so like, yeah, like, I'm... It, it was, a, for a long time, I, I resisted having any in-game guilds. And I think, like, that that for me, and the way that I play, and the kind of content that I make, that, that was probably the right move. So, like, if I play if I play on Mancrick and Kata, like, the, the guild is there. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna disband that guild, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna make any more guilds, or... Anything like that, I'm, I'm kinda good on that. I would rather people I would rather people be able to find a guild that really like suits them than try to hang out in the guild and like have nobody on, nobody to play with, you know. I I, fe I feel like it's like wasting other people's time, like not valuing their time. And I w I was always very upfront about how like I'm not a guild leader. 
I'm, I'm never going to be a good guild leader. I'm never going to be a good like Discord administrator. Like I'm, I'm just not those things. And I've always been very open about that. Did the ooze drop a chest? Um, maybe. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't see one drop. Do they drop onto the ground? Because I don't think I, it didn't drop into my inventory. What's in the chest? Like a two percent chance for like something good? I don't know. I don't, I don't see it anyway. If it wasn't sparkly, if it wasn't sparkly, I didn't see it. And even if it was sparkly, like forty percent chance that I missed it. What's in the chest? There's a chest right here. There's junk. Okay, so so mainly, like, most of the time, just junk. But maybe a small chance at, at something decent. Yeah, not, not usually anything good. I'll try to keep my eyes open. I'm sure the one that I left behind had an epic in it. You know, that's how it works. Definitely the one I didn't loot had epics. Yeah, it's got it's got all the buy non equipped purples in it. It's got every buy non equipped purple possible on the loot table. It was some kind of major glitch, and I just didn't loot it. Uh, we're looking for these outrunners, but man, they, they are stealth and like, there we go. Like, the only way I find them is when I accidentally aggro them. Otherwise, they've been pretty tough to find. I feel like they tend to hang out, like, near the trees. Yeah, here we go. That's our last one. The axe looks like the Kratos axe in the in the remakes, or in the new games. I guess they're they're not remakes. Uh, yeah, I guess I can see that. We've had we've had some really interesting looking axes so far this playthrough. I feel like the armor the armor design in Cataclysm was not good, not at low levels. Like all the leveling sets are boring, but like the axes the weapons have been pretty good. So it's like a trade off. Gear slightly more boring, weapons slightly more exciting. Lita. Strength and honor. Go with honor. All right, so the only other quest we have now is to go after the demons. So I guess we're going to do that. And then, like, I don't know, I don't know what the western part of the zone looks like. I don't know if we still have, like, a, is there a Zoramgar outpost? Is that still a place we can go quest? I have no idea. We could run out there and see, or we could try to get into, into Stone Talon and start doing some stuff. If there is any quest in Stone Talon, I have no idea. So we'll have a couple of options. It looks like this stuff might dead end. Like, I, I think that without completing the main quest here, we're not going to see, like, any real continuation of the zone. So we just need to kill 15 of any demons that we find. That is, a, I think, I think in the classic era it was a lot more specific on like the types and how many.
they were higher level. That's right. Yeah, they weren't level 20. This was something you had to do a little bit later on. Yeah, that's true. There's also there also should still be a Seder quest, which we maybe we're not going to get the Seder quest because of how our questing here is kind of messed up. There, there is stuff over at Zoramgar, at the outpost. They built it up a little bit. Maybe we will make a little run out that way. It'd be cool if they could fly us out there. I'm sure that like it feels like in the normal questing, if we were able to progress the main questing, they probably would like offer us a flight. They've offered us flights to like so many places that eventually they'd probably like shoot us out there on a rocket or something. Uh, but as it is, we might have to make the run ourselves. Yeah, that's, that's it out of here since we can't do this guy's quest. I'm going to drop this quest. Yeah, there we go. Blood and thunder.
Oh, of course we get dismounted. Why why wouldn't we get dismounted by the giant elite? Oh, and he's like stopped us from moving. Perfect. Okay, uh, let's pop the heal. That's not gonna that's not gonna help us. We we have some potions, but that's probably that's probably not gonna save us. Okay, there we go. That's that's great. Now we're right back where we started. Perfect. So if the quest weren't broken, then that event would stop, and then there wouldn't be giant elites standing outside the entrance of the town waiting to kill you. But yeah, unfortunately it's totally broke. There was some old Baron's music. I think this right here is original Ashenvale music. Oh, nope. Now it's changing. Oh, now it's different. Yeah, for a minute we had original Ashenvale music too. Um, I feel like maybe I should avoid the main road. Maybe, oh wait, maybe now I am. I'm, one of these roads leads right into the Alliance Town. So like I, I don't think I want to run right into the Alliance Town without having like a good idea where it's actually at. There's, there's some kind of horde banners over here. I see banners, I see a night elf building, but I see a bunch of horde stuff too. Uh, what is going on over here? Silverwind Refuge, okay. It looks like the horde has wrecked this place. Is this an alliance questing area? I, I have, no, I have quest here. Oh, look at that. We have found some more quests. That is a good thing. Well met. Uh, thinning well. the herd? The Firbolg are more numerous than we expected in these southern regions. They have also been far more aggressive than we would like. With our resources divided between hunting down elves and harvesting much needed lumber, that leaves you to help me put an end to our Firbolg distraction. I have research to conduct here. In the meantime, I need you to take a more hands on approach. Bring me the ears of the nearby Firbolgs as proof to Tarkan that the problem is being dealt with. Okay. Walk. With your mother. Cool. You're in Hellscream's army now, and in Hellscream's army we kick butt and take names. Of course we do. Gone are the days of our people starving in the streets of Ogremar. Were people starving in the streets of Ogremar? As we sign treaties with elves? What, what, are they, what is he talking about? We take what we need now. Kalimdor belongs to the Horde. Was, was, were there social problems with, like within Ogremar? 
Uh, let's see, what are we doing? We are gonna take take the Kromgar wagon to the fold in Stonetail and Mountains. Um, I don't know if I want that. I don't know if I want to do that right now. Let's May your blades never dull. let's pick up the other quest. That that seems like it's gonna be like another escort or like a vehicle thing. I'm not really sure. Apparently there are homeless people in Orgrimmar. I thought everybody lived somewhere. Sub -sub. You should have seen it, warrior. The elves thought Silverwind to be impenetrable. With its heavy defenses <laughs> and their army of water elementals, they were almost right. Almost. One of our mages was able to summon a twisted elemental designed to send the others into a chaotic rage. Ah, the look on their faces. Unfortunately, the mage who summoned it fell in battle. Now I need someone to bring down our creation. Okay. Dabu. Look, Tom. My commander has sent me to scout for potential recruits to assist in the defense of Gromgol base camp in northern Stranglethorn. Are you familiar with Stranglethorn? It's a long way away across the Great Sea on the southern tip of the Eastern Kingdom. You fit the build he was looking for, interested in leaving Kalimdor for a while. If so, then go talk to my cohort, Bort, in Orgrimmar. We'll take this for now. I'm not sure if we're going to be ready to go to Stranglethorn. Apparently, it's a yellow quest. So maybe northern and southern Stranglethorn are like a different level range. I have no idea. The funny thing is, like, only having played through some of these zones recently in retail, like, I have no idea what they did to the change, like, level requirements of the zones in Kata. But apparently a part of Stranglethorn is like a level 20 zone now. All right, let's do this for this guy and see what happens. Go forth to victory. Okay, nothing happened. Perfect. Perfect. Oh no! See, it says wagon taken to the fold. We're, I don't. I don't know what that wants from us. Um, I don't see a wagon. Uh, maybe this is a person. Nope. Nope. We can't click you. We we can't click you. And I, if I look around. I don't readily see any wagons. So let, let's focus on the ones that we can actually do. The plague lands are level 35 and 40 now? Oh. All the zones are a lower level than usual. Like how do they... Yeah, well how do they make up for that really? If all the zones are lower level than usual, like where do you quest to get from 50 to 58 to go to, uh, to, go to Outland? Because usually, if, you know, you'd be in the Plague Lands around then. So if I can't go to the Plague Lands from 50 to 58, like, where am I supposed to go? If they decreased the level of some zones, they must have increased the level of other zones. Yeah, but there's still but there's still no way. There there still have to be zones where you go in like the level fifties though. Like you're still gonna have to have somewhere to go in the level fifties. Maybe places like Winter Spring or Searing Gorge or the Black maybe some places didn't change much. Yeah, even even if it's more XP though, you, you still need a place to go like within a within a ten level range. Because like outside of ten levels, it's a great quest. So like regardless of how much more experience quests give me if I'm questing in a level in an area that's level 35 to 45 and I'm level and I'm level 55 like I'm not going to be getting any XP from those quests. Well, we'll see. We'll we'll figure it out eventually. Like, I'm, I'm specced into Deep Wounds. Has anybody noticed Deep Wounds actually working? Because I, I have not seen a Deep Wounds proc a single time. And I've been keeping my eyes out for it. I don't, I don't know if this ability is working. Yeah, it causes them to bleed. I, I've... Maybe it's it's probably only on a crit, maybe? I don't know. We'll, we'll keep an eye on it, but I, I haven't seen Deep Wounds proc a single time. And that's not typical. Usually when you have deep wounds at, at three points, usually you see it proc all the time. I don't think it's working.
maybe I will be trying a different spec. The level cap is 60. No, the level cap is not 60. But before you you usually get to level 58 before you go into Outland. And then, you know, you do 58 to 68 in Outland, and then you do uh, 68 to uh, whatever, 78, I guess, in Northrend. And then you would come and you would do the level 80 to 85 zones in Cataclysm. It, the level right right now in beta, I don't know what the level cap is in beta. I have no idea if there's a level cap or what it is. But in actual cataclysm, the level cap goes up to uh, up to 85. But you're still doing the prior expansion like content in, in those level brackets. Right now the, in beta, the cap is 80. Yeah, that makes sense. There's no there's no other. There's no 80 to 85 zones available for testing yet, so there's no reason to be leveling. There's no way or reason to be leveling past that anyway. My inventory is full. That is not good because apparently these furball gears, they, they don't stack as high as we need them to stack, so I have to drop something in order to loot this. I wonder how many others I've left on their bodies. There's a bunch of 80s already? Oh man, that's impressive. That's cool. It seems the leveling has been really slow. Like, I don't really mind, but the leveling has not been fast. So that, I mean, but yeah, people have had access to the beta for a while now, though. I think it's been like two or three weeks that people have been getting invited, so. It, it makes sense that there'd be some level 80s. Yeah, I think we were the second the second wave that we knew of, yeah.
victory! I realized I haven't trained in a long time. What have I not trained? I haven't trained overpower. That would be another button. With my with my mouse not working right now, with without having the ability to use any of my mouse buttons, having another ability is going to be really awful for me right now. <laughs> like having another button to push is not going to be good. Uh, until and unless I can fix whatever is going on with my mouse. Uh, cleave, same thing. I I'd love to have these buttons, but again, I don't have any keybinds I can hit anymore now that my mouse is not functioning properly. Uh, I guess I'm not in a big hurry. Overpower would be nice to have, I just don't know what I would bind it to at this point. Maybe I stop using rend. I'm not like, I don't think I'm getting a lot of value out of rend. Peace, friend. Winds be at your back. My research has paid off. I believe that with a show of force, we can diminish the Furbolg's aggressiveness. Take this banner a short ways northeast. Oh, it's the banner quest. We okay, we, we've done the banner quest before. Uh, yeah, let's just go. Let's go do it. Oh wait, did we just complete that because some other player killed him? Yeah, that's um, that's quest complete. Like somebody else must have killed him and then he dropped the item on the ground and we just looted it. So we do not have to stick around here and protect the banner. We are done. So yeah, that's cool. I'll take it. It seems like that's a little bit buggy. I, I don't know if it's supposed to work that way, but I'm fine with it. Uh, well, that's an upgrade. Wins be at
Our, our breath bar goes for a long, long time. It feels like retail level of like permanent breath bar. Was this a big change in Cataclysm? It's three minutes? Wow, that's that's professional. That is a long time to hold your breath. Um, so, yeah, we, we did this one, we, we have completed the quest, and yet, there is no turn-in for the quest. That's, that's a little weird. Okay, no, no, here it is, it's just not on the map, it's another map problem, nobody panic. The quest giver did not vanish, it's just simply a tracking issue. I have to point out that 
my my talent window opened all on its own and now it's flashing glyphs at me like this opened all on its own as soon as we hit level uh we hit level 25 and now we have glyphs i mean i don't have any glyphs but now we have access to glyphs prime glyph they're called prime glyphs now and then the prime glyphs and major glyphs and minor glyph. So we got a new a new level of glyph. Uh, glyph of blade storm. That's cool. Reduces the cooldown of blade storm. Don't have that ability. Uh, increases the damage of bloodthirst. Okay, okay. Devastate. Mortal strike. We need the mortal strike. Um, we probably need overpower. But yeah, mortal strike for sure. I I don't know what the deal is with slam. If I should be using slam. We, we need a lot of stuff. Uh, eventually we'll have to... Oh, a long charge. Increases the range of charge by 5 yards. That's really cool. Rapid charge. Reduce the cooldown of charge by 1. I like it. I like it. Okay. Uh, we won't be getting glyphs right now. Uh, we'll have to hit up a major city at some point, and then I guess we can check the auction house. I'm assuming the auction houses work, but I have not tried to use one, so... I also don't know, like, I guess I guess people would have to be leveling inscription. People would have to be leveling inscription to, to put those up on the auction house. So who knows with it being beta if anybody is actually doing that or not. I do think we finally found the breadcrumb to take us into into Stone Town if we want to, but also I was told that there there's stuff to do out at uh, at Zoramgar Outpost. So like maybe before we head to Ashenvale, m ooh, ooh, that was some graphical stuttering. Maybe we run out to the to the coast and just see like what's going on out that way. Alex, there are some glyphs on the auction house, but not many. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I you can't really expect people to level up inscription and to be like super active in the economy in a beta, I guess. Wh which does kind of limit sometimes, like some of your ability to test the the glyphs. I wonder if when they offer like pre-made characters, if the pre-made characters are going to come with all their glyphs. I feel like that would be the way to do it. Like, the only way that they get, like, really good class testing is if we have access to all of these. But we really, we really can't rely on crafters for them. So maybe for pre-mades, they just, they just have them, them all opened up. We've got some really intense battle music happening here. We've got some siege tanks down here. Looks like they're laying waste to the place. Uh, I don't see any quest though. Uh, maybe we should get a little closer. 
This must be for Alliance people. Like, the Alliance must come here and fight these guys. I don't really have a good idea of like where Zoramgar is. I, I kind of feel like it must be back over this way. But I'm not really 100%. I, I could, yeah, I could follow the arrow now. Yeah, it is, it is in this general direction. Wow, look at that. Yeah, they really did build this place up, didn't they? They've got proper walls. They've got a gate that'll never close. Dang. That's pretty cool. Uh, keep the fires burning. This is no small task, Torin. We have more ships arriving, and without the lighthouse, they'll be lost, or worse. You are hereby charged with keeping this fire lit. Collect the blubber from the hydras in the waters and bring it to the forge here to smelt it into oil. Throwing that oil in the lighthouse fire will buy us the time that we need, okay? Go forth to victory. And Black Fathom Deeps. Yeah, I don't think we'll get to do Black Fathom Deeps. Dabu. Don't feel like we'll be able to do that. Blood and thunder. Uh, Vorsha the Lasher, Fiendus Hydra. Yeah, we know about this. We know we know all about this. Um, I'm I'm not gonna do this one right now. I think it's gonna be the, it's gonna be the same exact escort quest. Is what it sounds like. Lotar, go for lousy pieces victory. of ship with a P. Shoddy worksmanship. There's no other explanation. These ships must have been constructed in a hurry. Entire pieces of armor plating are falling off without even sustaining a direct hit. I'll show them how it is to be done, but first I need you to recover the pieces from the seafloor. And the essence of Akumai, that is also a Black Damn. Fathom Deep quest. Okay, so a lot of Black, a lot of BFD quests out here. Okay, let, let's take the escort quest and see if we're able to do this without a group. It, it, it recommends that we bring friends. I don't know if we actually need friends or not. But we can see. Victory. He's really going to walk this slow the whole way. Oh, man. Do I have to wait for him, or can I can I go fight this guy without him? Or if, if I lose him, am I going to lose credit for the quest? Because it doesn't say to, to escort him, it doesn't say to protect him necessarily. It really just says to go kill the guy. So I really wonder if I... Oh, I don't have, I don't have a Naga quest? No way, hold on. Yeah, apparently... Wait, 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 wait. Why don't I have a quest to kill Naga? That's not good. There should be like the Naga head quest.
that's a shame. I wonder if I missed it or if it chains from like some of the quests we haven't been able to do earlier or, or what the deal is. Uh, we got Lady Vespia here. Looks like a rare spawn. She dropped a shimmering cloak of the owl. Somebody was saying in, 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 in looking for in general chat that Cata is the true classic plus. What a bunch of trolls. Just just trying to enrage people. Cata is the true classic plus. I mean, yeah, it, w it was classic plus not classic. So yeah, it was classic plus. Classic plus the game changing. So there you go, you finally got your changes. You finally, you finally got classic plus. You got classic with a bunch of changes. Welcome to classic plus everybody. All the zones are new, we're adding new content. Yeah, you got, you got your classic plus. It's not what you wanted. Oh, we gotta fight waves too. Oh, these guys are really weak. Yeah, we, we shouldn't have too much of a problem with this. These guys are not strong. You'd enjoy Kata if there was a little more going on with combat. I mean, keep in mind, like, we're a level 25 character. I don't know how much more complicated it is gonna get, or how much more complicated it needs to get, but we, we are only level... If this is your example you're looking at, we are only level 25. Although, to be fair, I, I don't know how much more complicated the rotation is going to get, or really needs to get. But typically, if you, if you want more stuff to pay attention to in combat, then you're probably going to want to be doing raids, you're probably going to want to be doing like heroic plus 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 and stuff like that. Uh, ultimately, at the end of the day, like any version of WoW is a tab target MMO. So there's only like so much that you're going to be doing uh, in a tab target MMO. Are we good here? Is this guy good? No. Yes. Maybe. I, th I think we're good here. Uh, however, we are looking for sunken scrap metal and hydra blubber. So let's, let's jump in and get on that. He said return to Zoramgar. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Thank you.
I picked up a hulking belt. Did I? Let's see. Aha. Uh, five strength, definitely better than what we have. Thank you. Apparently we don't have a belt with any stats. Very nice. So the blubber we have to take back and we have to like put it into the into the fight. It doesn't tell us how many we need. How many do we need? Okay, we we need 10. The visibility down here is not it's not very great. Also, I was apparently very, very deep underwater. Electron, good afternoon, man. Welcome to the stream.
I guess we could start heading back towards the land. That would be a good idea. We're, we're almost like gonna get into like fatigue territory pretty soon. We, we need one more blubber on the way back. Of course, now that I've come this far back, am I, am I going to find any in this area? I don't know. I, I don't see any other Hydra. Oh, here we go. Let's grab this guy, just in case there aren't any closer to land. What's my slash played? Uh, let's see. We haven't checked it today. At level 25, we have played for 15 hours and 42 minutes. So almost 16 hours. And we are level 25. It's, it's, been, it's been slow. It's been slow leveling. It has not been like fast leveling. It has not even been similar to like Wrath of the Witch King leveling. It's been it's been more like vanilla era leveling. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why the the new zones like uh, Mount Hyjal. I don't know why they show eighty to ninety. Because even even when Pandaria opens up, you're not going to be able to quest in those zones to 90. You're going to have to go to Pandaria to do 85 to 90. So like, I don't really know why the new zones show as 80 to 90 on the map. I'm, I'm assuming it's like a glitch for right now. I, I'm kind of assuming like the developers don't even know what the level cap was in Cataclysm. Ma maybe they think the level cap was eight, was 90. I don't know. But I'm assuming it's going to get changed because e even once we have Mr. Pandaria Classic, like you're you're not going to be leveling in Twilight Highlands from uh, from 85 to 90. Oh, good! I can't I can't get out of here. Oh, that's really awesome. I, I have managed to jump into an area that I that I have to swim around to get out. Perfect. All right, we have to go. I think he said go to the forge and, and smelt the blubber. So we have to figure out how to do that. join a guild yeah I, I don't know if just like the guild xp is gonna make like the difference they they still haven't like cemented things you know i, I doubt that experience gains are where they want them to be um okay uh requires zoramgar forge maybe just back here and thunder for the horde. Go for defeat. Uh, now we have to keep the lighthouse fire lit. I'm not like super certain what it really wants us to do. Maybe we have to just go visit the lighthouse, I guess. Draw on for the horde.
Yeah, I, I have no idea what the quest wants me to do at this point. I, I turned I turned the blubber into something. I, I turned it into into mist slash hydro oil. Now it wants me to fuel the lighthouse. It, which one's the lighthouse? I guess it maybe it's this thing. Is this a lighthouse? It doesn't really have like the look of a lighthouse I would expect. Uh, but yeah, maybe that's the lighthouse. It's also the forge building. Potentially there's a way to get up top that I didn't see. I, I don't know. Uh, do I have a staircase? Uh, no, not really. I don't really see uh, anything to do here. Uh, okay. Well, I'm throwing oil- <laughs> throwing that oil on the lighthouse fire. Is this the lighthouse fire? Like, what, what's the lighthouse fire exactly? I, I know what a normal lighthouse looks like. I don't see any normal lighthouses here. I don't see anything resembling a lighthouse. What's the lighthouse fire? Cause I, I don't know. Maybe one of you guys sees it. I don't see a lighthouse fire. Maybe the quest is just a little buggy. The bow I picked up earlier has better stats. That's cool, I'll take a look. Go out on the pier and look to your right. Yeah, I walked out there. I didn't see anything. I'll go check. Uh, no, you see, I, what I'm looking at for my bow is, like, I, I want to have the strength and stamina. The light bow has no... Unless you're talking about a different bow. Uh, yeah, my, mine's better. Alright, so we're saying back, back out this way. Is this thing a lighthouse? Like... This looks like a torch. Okay, like maybe maybe I'm just too tired. Maybe that's all. Yeah, I don't I don't see anything out here that looks even remotely like a light or a house or a lighthouse. This right over here? Is is that our lighthouse? The view distance the view distance sucks so bad that I can barely see it. Nice. Okay. It took a while. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting exhausted. It's it's been a it's been a long day for me that started with catastrophic like computer failure and all my peripherals were broken and it's, it's been a it's been a rough one. There we go. Mystery solved. We, we have lit the lighthouse fire.
blood and thunder. All right, guys, I am going to take a break right here for today. This seems like an okay place to leave things. Thank you guys very much for hanging out today. I appreciate you uh, hanging out, and like, especially those of you guys who saw all the issues that I had this morning. I had a bunch of technical problems uh, with my equipment. A lot of stuff is still not fixed. So I'm going to get off here for today, and I'm going to try to fix my technology and see if maybe I can get that to work better uh, for next time. Thank you guys very much. Truly do appreciate the support. As always, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.